churches? We got bats where you read and talk business? Build a coliseum? Fill the coliseum. Yeah. Get some gladiators? Let the lions eat them. You know, the Roman Empire's growing. Got to keep the conquered people from revolting. All of them should know the laws. Plebeians and slaves will... Salute omnes, salute amici. Welcome to tonight's stream. Uh, tonight's stream is very special. It is dedicated to the Ludi Romani, uh, the greatest games uh, of, of Rome. Uh, so it is uh, an excellent session this evening. Tonight's session in particular is the third assembly of the Republic of Rome board game playthrough that we're doing with uh, five other players waiting uh, excitedly uh, on the other end uh, in the Roll20 application on our virtual tabletop where we have set up the uh, Republic of Rome board game. Uh, produced by Valley Games in 2009, it is a uh, essentially a political simulation of the Roman Republic Senate, uh, where the players buy to help keep the uh, Republic alive, but also seek to become the most powerful and influential senator in in Rome. Uh, so yes, uh, um, all hats off to the uh, Ludi of Romani this evening, and uh, uh, without further delay, let us now transition to the virtual tabletop of environment. And uh, let's get this game underway. Don't go away. We'll uh, return very shortly. Okay. Sound check. Hopefully uh, we are all uh, live. I'm just checking our audio channels now. Uh, hello to uh, everybody uh, watching the stream this evening. I'm just checking on my right-hand side. I've got five, six camera views. Very good. Audio seems good to me as well. Brilliant. Uh, and you guys can all hear me, yes? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Okay. We are here. We are live in our Senate. Uh, let's let's get the ball rolling. So let's all refer to our cheat sheets, <clears throat> and uh, we'll look at the mortality phase here. One war for every set matched wars. Let's just double check the board. I'm pretty sure we don't have any matched wars at this stage, other than what's already there. Uh, we've got the two prosec unprosecuted wars from the last session. That's going to cost us uh, big bucks this turn. That's the first Punic War matched with uh, Hamilcar, uh, then the second Macedonian War matched with Philip V. Um, so some pretty strong wars there that you guys will have to face this turn, but otherwise there's no other movements. Uh, and then of course there is the aging senators, uh, the, the first step that we go through. So, using those mortality chits, go ahead and age each of your senators by one. Um, and if your senator is yet to get a mortality chit, certainly uh, add the number one to its card. Um, I'm going to help you out there, uh, Cornelius Dolabella, and I'm going to get you the, the new uh, token that you need. So you'll need a six for Achilles. I'd That's, appreciate that. I'll get you a six rolling here. Uh, there we go. The six is coming in. So um, there's your six. That's in your playing area now. So modify that as you need to. All right. Oh, oh hang on. Okay. All right, and well, we'll wait for our players to now age all of their senators by one. I don't think anybody's hit seven years of age yet. I think we're still one year away from that. Um, while that's also happening, just so you know, uh, I've only got money in the bank for one player, uh, one faction at the moment. Um, uh, that player should know who they are. Um, so don't forget that you have those funds, and if you wish to be reminded, send me a whisper, and I can update you what you've got, okay? Uh, of course, those who are banking under the chest, that's still perfectly reasonable and you can continue to hold your funds there. I merely offer the banking service uh, should you uh, desire the extra security, but uh, you all have relatively trustworthy faces, so I don't think there's anything to fear there. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. <laughs> Understood. So, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. so it's seven for the simple game, 13 for the second fine. level, correct. and 18 for the third level. That's correct. And they need to be against a senator specifically. Uh, yes, they have to come from a specific senator's personal treasury, that's right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is there no way you can increase someone's oratory skills? Uh, no, oratory will remain pretty flat. In fact, it will remain flat um, on each senator. Okay, um, This is weird. I'm trying to uh, just uh, do a whisper at the moment, and it's uh, not allowing me rather strangely. Um, what is uh okay so for in 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 dominus what's your what's the username that you logged in with i'll try that because for some reason it doesn't recognize your your I'll, name there I'll, I'll change my name i'll make it easier yeah for okay you. maybe maybe the apostrophes are causing issues i'm not yeah, sure it's the, i've had it before it's the apostrophes oh okay right i wonder who's banking with you <laughs> Okay, let's let's have a look there. Let me just let me just finish this test. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, has everybody finished aging their senators? I'm just going to go trick look over here. Yes. Uh, Reaper's party four, five, six. Uh, Tarquinius party we've got a five, a six, a four, and a three. That makes sense. Cross to the Sirius uh, de Panem at uh, so Kenesis. So we've got a four, a five, and a six. Hand of God faction, we've got a six, a five, and a four. And down at the Optimates, we've got a five, a four, and a six, and a two. Two. Yep, that's right, because there's a late plate senator there. Okay, fantastic. Now, gents and ladies, we are now going to do the next step, and that is the uh, revenue phase. Uh, let's all start with our personal revenues. I'll do a quick recap for you all again, but it's up to you guys to do your calculations. Remember, for each, well, you've only have all only got one faction leader, so your faction leader receives three talents. Each other senator receives one talent. Uh, Pontifex Maximus, no, you need to roll your 1d6. You can do that in your own time and add that as well to that senator. Uh, and then you guys need to add all your concessions. So... Um, um, at, just remember, as per your public agreement this turn, that um, um, money from concessions needs to either be donated to the state treasury or put towards hosting games. Okay, so perhaps if you receive that, maybe you need to give me that income separately when you read it out so that you can set that aside so that you're meeting that public agreement. So when I ask everybody's income this evening, I should hear two numbers. One, all the leftover income, and two, all the income from concessions. Okay. Uh, we've got no governors, so we don't need to worry about that, okay? And then don't forget, you get one talent for each knight that you have as well, all right? So uh, don't forget to add that to your uh, other tally, all right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my uh, zone, open, uh, I don't know, the bank's already open. Okay, so uh, everyone's got some tallies in their head. I should hear two numbers, one for all your concessions, if you've got them, and then two, all the remaining income knights. Uh, base income, faction leader, Pontifus Maximus, etc. Okay. Uh, so let's start with the uh, Tarquinius faction. Let's uh, tell me about your income this evening. Okay, I have a total income of seven, and um, a slightly uh, dubious income of five. Okay, so you should receive seven and five. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Okay, seven and okay. That your seven and five are now within your withdrawal zone. You can uh, take those at your leisure. Uh, I'm going to uh, do like the American Federal Reserve and duplicate money. Give me a moment. <laughs> Making Start money. Post. Yeah. <laughs> In exchange for um, bonds. Making money. <laughs> Making money. All right, that should be plenty there. Okay, let's go on to uh, the Reapers party. Tell me about your funds. What are your two amounts this evening? Uh, I get five revenue and a two from a concession. For five. Okay, five revenue and uh, two from concession this evening. Uh, and I'm going to drop them in your play zone just to make things a little bit easier for yourself. Yeah, I just saw some money fly off. Yeah, that, no, that's for uh, that is your from your colleague. So one... no, that, yeah, that was I was just pausing. Yeah. It was too heavy to carry. You, you were a pit stop. You were a pit stop on your way. Okay, you're, <laughs> those those two lots of funds are now in your in your play zone there, Reaper's Party. There should be five okay. and a two pile. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, let's talk about the uh, Optimates. Optimates, tell me about your funds this evening. Um, I've got no dodgy money, um, and you'll see in the chat window that I managed to roll a six. So I've got 14. Uh, any particular denomination or a combination thereof? Um, I think any particular uh, denomination. If you need to change it, let me know. Thank you. 14. Big marks. Big, big bucks. Here we go. Uh, that is in now in the withdrawal zone for you. Just check that it is, in fact, 14. Uh, great. Let's talk about the uh, the Hand of God faction. How much are you guys getting this evening in your two amounts? Uh, yes. Well, I need uh, so be seven for my uh, just normal income and then two uh, concessions. Seven and two. Okay. Two. Okay. All right. Uh, that should be in your withdrawal zone now. Just check that. Um, should be seven and two. And uh, last but not least, um, see with us da panem. How? What are you guys getting this evening? Um, I've got seven, which is normal revenue, personal revenue, and then seven from land commissions and taxes. Ah. Um, if you need to change the nominations, let me know. So you should have two groups of seven now in your withdrawal zone. Right, so uh, everybody's brought in their funds into their respective area. Okay, we can now talk about the redistribution step. Um, feel free now to distribute those funds between your senators, noting that if you are planning to sponsor games, I thoroughly recommend you put that amount onto one senator's personal treasury. Uh, and if you're looking to donate to the state treasury, which you should be, that should be one of your other options, is you also put that onto one personal treasury as well. Does it How much does it pay to sponsor a game? So uh, the minimum amount is seven. If you look at the games table, just on the right hand side of the sand pit in the center, you'll see that the minimum cost for a game is uh, seven. And mm -hmm. it goes up from there. And if we want to donate just what we got from the... Um, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, I guess there's no minimum amounts, but if you hit certain thresholds, you will get influence. Yeah. Well, I, well, I got two from concessions, so I want to donate that to the um. What was the other thing? Not the game. Uh, the yeah. state treasury. So just put on that. On, just put that amount on a single uh, single senator's card, ready for that phase. Okay. Okay. So is it worth us talking? Because the unrest level is minus three. Yeah, by all means, have a chat if you want to chat about so exactly, exactly how much funding is going in or who's sponsoring games. If you want to sort that out, by all means, have a chat for sure. And do we have? Do we have any more instability that's going to come in before we hit the form? Uh, well, we bearing in mind, place? you've got to go through six initiative steps. Uh, anything could come up in there. So, so, yes. so the stat unrest level is minus three or three? It's currently three. Yeah. But we want to get it down to zero. Correct. Yeah. You can't can we still have a drought or a famine at the moment or something? Uh, you don't have a drought, uh, but you do have a manpower shortage, but that's going to disappear. Oh. Oh, okay. So and you'll, you you'll see at the start of the forum phase there's a passage of time that will wipe a lot of the existing events off the board bar one. Uh, well, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting on my uh, redistribution. Yeah, you can do that at your leisure. Um, so you can move your funds around uh, th through your respective senators as you desire. Uh, if you want to do some uh, banking, which you... Which you uh, uh, you can do, uh, by all means, open to anyone, you can whisper. Um, uh, so, so stand by for those who have made any requests to me, and I'll action that now. So I had seven um, talents, which I got through um, playing the concession cards. Yep. So I'm happy to add further money to that to hold a gladiator gala and get the unrest level down to zero. So you've got, of course, you've got 18. Yep. Cool. So we are going to, looking through in the population phase, so that's plus one per unprosecuted war, so we're going to see that go up another two. So I think from my side, I can afford to put 13 in. 
Zuck gets us a blood fest. <laughs> nice. Uh, I've got so, two from a concession that I can donate if that'll help. <laughs> Everything yeah. helps. So I've got two to donate as well. Uh, so, so I think those, they have to go to the state treasury, I think, those, those amounts. Anything below a game, um, a games. Is that the only way we can reduce state unrest, is games? Uh, and defeating wars, of course. So at the moment, yes. Yeah. Uh, sorry. The... Will the unrest go up before we get our initiatives or during our initiatives? Um, so it will be, it won't change before your initiatives, though. No. Okay, yep. All right. All right, is uh, everybody happy that they've redistributed the funds as they desired? Yes. Okay, let's do state revenues now. Uh, so this is a job for the Quister. Quister, if you'd like to add 100 talents to the state treasury, please. I think that's is that still Indominus? Yep, it's done. Okay. Well done. I like a, I like an efficient Quister. Um, we don't have any provincial state incomes just yet. Hopefully, we will soon. Uh, okay, now let's talk about our contributions to the state treasury. Um, now, for all those that are donating from a single personal treasury, um, uh, by all means, I would like you to drop your funds into the centre sandpit into respective piles, and then that will allow the Quaister to do a sum up, and then we'll add that to the State Treasury. So if you are donating to the State Treasury, now's your time. Drag your yep. money to the sand pit for me. Yep. Done. Um, I'll just, uh, just wait to see if there's anything else coming in. Four, five, six. Okay, uh, we've got a total of six being donated to the state treasury. So, uh, Quaister, if you could just add another six to the state treasury, please, and I'll uh, put these uh, funds in the uh, in the bank. Okay. Uh, so, I think the minimum amount to earn influence is ten talents. So, um, you'll start earning influence once you start donating ten talents to the state treasury. It's not cumul cumulative, I presume. Uh, so this so, year, next year, you don't have to keep track of how much you donated today. Uh, no, no. Um, so yeah, for each fresh ten talents or twenty-five or fifty talents, that will get you respective influence. So no, it doesn't. It doesn't track from year to year. Okay. Uh, now let's go ahead and do the the debts for the state. Um, so we need to do. Uh, minus two talents for each unit, and that's currently there's only two of those, so it's only going to be minus four talents so far. Uh, so let's d deduct that, or if you want to run a total here, by all means. Now it's also minus 20 for each active or unprosecuted war, so that's minus 40. So right now you're looking at a total of minus 44 talents. Uh, then various talents for active land bills, and if we look across at our land bills, which is a type three, uh, a type three. Um, cost 10 talents per year so all in all we're looking at uh, minus 54 talents from the state treasury um. we'll give him give the quaestor a moment to update that yeah it's done Complete. perfect uh, look at a nice round number of 260 that's uh, that's tidy Okay, we'll go back to our cheat sheet. Uh, no local forces or governors to worry about there. All right, beautiful. Let's talk about the forum phase. We're, we're into it. Let's do the passage of time. Uh, we're going to remove unapplicable event cards and um, certain events. So if you are looking at the sandpit right now, you'll notice I'll be removing the manpower shortage for the moment. That will disappear. And one other event gets to disappear as well, and that is the storm at sea. Um, and that didn't really affect us anyway. So... Uh, now, noting we may refer that to the future, instead of deleting it, I'm just going to pop it down here. There's a secondary discard pile here, if you'll notice. I'm just going to leave it there uh, for the time being. Now, this refuge one's going to hang around, and if you read that, you'll recall that it says, when the next enemy leader is killed by victory, uh, he'll be given refuge by the next war card drawn. So that's any war, if he's, if he's once he's killed. That leader will remain in play and aid that war, but be discarded when that war is defeated. Um... So we've got, we got to be careful as to which war we're going to do first. Great, great, great point to think about. Okay, um, now we get to do our initiative phases. Um, and so this always starts with the 2d6, starting with the highest ranking available officer, which is currently Indominus as Rome console. Go ahead and roll your 2d6, and let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Uh, 
Oh, would you look at that? He's, he's rolled a seven. So uh, it's going to be an event draw card first up. So uh, uh, hopefully it's uh, better than what we've had previously. Uh, go ahead and roll uh, 3d6 for me now. Uh, he's rolled a 13 this time, so let's re zoom in on our random events table. He has drawn, oh, and you'll like this one, it's called Allied Enthusiasm. And I can always I can tell you straight away that that is in fact a good one. Uh, so I'm going to open up the events card deck where, now. Where are you looking, sorry? Uh, uh, it's left hand side of the sandpit, you'll see an events table. Oh, yeah. And yeah. you'll see 13 under the Early Republic is uh, Allied Enthusiasm. Cool. Okay, so I'm uh, just looking through now. Um, I think it is, it's one of these ones, let me just zoom in on the card, it's a shame that it makes it uh, difficult like this, there it is, okay, so I'm going to draw, it's the light blue card first, and those looking in the sand pit will be able to view, state receives 50 talents in the revenue phase, Whoa. Um, so that will be uh, I guess the next next uh, revenue phase that, that comes up. So that's a good draw. Well done. Uh, now you get to finish the rest of your uh, initiative. Um, would you like to make a persuasion attempt? Um, From either aligned or unaligned senators in the forum. No. Okay. Uh, next... Uh, would you like to roll for a knight? And the default answer is always yes. It's really a matter of how much money from a single personal treasury you wish to put forwards. Uh, so who will be rolling for a knight in this round? Uh, it'll be Cato the, less, the Elder. Cato the Elder. And uh, does yeah. he have any personal treasury on him at the moment? It's a bit hard to tell. I don't know how you've reached Oh, uh, yeah, it. it's all on him. It's all on him. Okay, no problem. And uh, how much are you putting forwards? It's spending two. Okay, so you'll need to roll a four, five, or a six on a on a on a uh, on a d uh, six for me. Go ahead and do that. And you've rolled a four, so you've got your your knight. So go ahead and add a knight to uh, Kato the Elder. Um, we'll wait you wait for you to do that. So you might just yeah, update his token, his knight token. Uh, while you're doing that, uh, do you have any intentions to change your faction leader? No. Okay, and uh, this is where we talk about sponsoring games, and I guess Kato the Elder is also going to be the one sponsoring games. So, how much money are you looking to put forwards to sponsor games here? I'm going to I'm going to spend thirteen. Thirteen on a blood fest. Okay, very good. Um, so, if you want to drop that in the sand pit zone for me, that thirteen talents from his one personal treasury. And uh, then, uh, because he's done this, he gets to add plus two popularity to his popularity score. So right now he's got four popularity, and that's going to increase by two to a total of six. So grab yourself a number six token and update that four to a six. So he's now going to be six popularity. Uh, very popular senator, Cato the Elder. And uh, we're also going to reduce the unrest level by uh, two. So uh, as Quaister, if you'd like to reduce the state unrest level from three to one, that would be fantastic. Good job. Uh, unrest, unrest. Ah, there we go. All right, I'll take that. The uh, the funds down from here. Now, even uh, for for those that are playing to sponsor games in in future initiative steps, even if the unrest level is at zero, you can still sponsor games and still earn the popularity bonus. Okay, certainly no problem with that. In fact. Uh, if you haven't already donated the state treasury, I think you're still obligated under the public agreement to sponsor a game anyway. Um, okay, so that concludes your uh, initiative step. It's now going to rotate clockwise around to uh, Siwidus da Panem and some Pronius Aquila. Go ahead and roll your 2d6 and let's see what you get. Waiting for the die roll. There's the die roll. He gets a four. All right, go ahead and draw a single card from the top of the early Republic deck and take that into your hand, which it will should do automatically, and then check if it's red text or black text. Fingers crossed, everyone. <laughs> All right, he's got, he's got the card. All right, is it red text or black text? It is... Red. You'll hang on to that, um, and if you're, if you're not sure, let me know, I can double check. Uh, in fact, I, I can just double check anyway, let me have a quick look here. Um, 
<laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna press the. Is it gonna let me do it? This is uh, it's uh. Back. back. It's uh, it's yeah. it's playing up on me. I'm gonna. Oh, I have to trust you. Yeah, for some reason it's not letting me check cards. It's it's right. It's right. Yeah, good. It's okay, right. good. Uh, that's fine. All right, we can now uh, go ahead with your initiative. Would you like to make a persuasion attempt? Either on aligned or unaligned senators uh, in the Senate or forum. No, I would not. Okay. Would you like to roll for a night? Answer is really always yes. Uh, which senator will be rolling for a night, and would he like to spend any money? Um. Yes, I will have um, Cornelius ra um, roll for a dice. Okay. Is he spending uh, any money? Sorry. Is he spending any uh, money? Yeah, two talents. Yep, cool. So he's gonna. Uh, if you wanna drop them in the sand pit for me, um, or oh, I see what you've highlighted. Would you like me to take those two? Yeah. Okay. So uh, go ahead and roll your one d six. It'll be a four or a five or a six to uh, get another knight. Sorry, two d six. Did you say? Sorry, one. Sorry, it's a one d six. My, my apologies. Yeah. No, no, that's right. Uh, I'm just waiting to load on my screen. Uh, you rolled a two. Unfortunate. You will not get one this round. Um, so those funds will go to the bank. Uh, would you like to uh, change your faction leader? No, I would not. Okay, and will you be sponsoring games this round? I will, so okay. you can take all of those. Uh, I, um, so yep. you'll, you'll move those for me somewhere obvious? Are oh, you doing yep. that now? Okay. I'm going to look for the same pit if I can. Yeah, cool. Um, and is that going to be seven, is it, or more? No, that's actually 18. Oh, he's making an 18. That's fantastic. Ooh. Great donation. So, uh, for the Quaister, if you go ahead and just uh, drop our unrest level back to zero. Uh, and if, you, uh, if you're donating 18, which I can see you are doing, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, you can add plus three popularity to his card. There, uh, Sempronius. That's, a, that's a, a mammoth of a donation and really reduced the unrest level. So the population is very happy with the uh, Senate right now. Good. Always good news, good stuff. Um, so we'll wait for him to update his, uh, to his new plus three popularity. Jeez, those plebs are easy to please, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Bread and circuses, mate. Bread and circuses. Bread and circuses. Exactly. Just living up for the night. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, you've uh, you've used accidentally used a knight token. You just need one of the black or grey tokens there, Sempronius. Sorry. You've used a knight token for his popularity. You just need a black or a grey number three. That's it. Okay. Uh, okay well, let's move on to the uh, hand of God faction. Go ahead and roll your two d six there, uh, posthumous uh, Arwem, and uh, let's see how you go. Yep, two d six. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, please draw the top single card from the early Republic deck and take that into your hand. Uh, one. And uh, is it black text or red text? One second, it is loading. Uh, which one was it? Uh, I guess that one there. Ah, uh, red text. All right, if it is red and you're sure it is, uh, you will keep that a secret. That is yep. yours to hang on to for the time being. Uh, would you like to um, persuade a lined or unaligned senator in the Senate at this stage? Uh, no, I'm all right on that no, front. No problem. Uh, rolling for knight, answer is yes. Uh, is there a particular knight that you're a uh, uh, senator, rather, that's going to roll for a knight tonight? Uh, yeah, I think my Sulpicius will. Certainly. Uh, is he putting any money forwards for this endeavour? Uh... He will not. Uh, and uh, hats off to whoever's doing the tidy up in the Senate forum at the moment. That makes me very happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's my ADD. It's showing. That's good. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm pleased you're with us. That's very good. <laughs> uh, sorry, were you putting funds forward there? Uh, no, no funds. Uh, throw, uh, go ahead and roll your 1D6 for me. Uh, one second. Five, unlucky. Uh, would you like to change faction leader? Um, no, I'm right for now, thank you. Certainly, and sponsoring games, will you be doing that today? Uh, I will be doing that. All right, what are you putting forwards? Uh, I'll be spending uh, 13. 13 Please? on a blood fest. Brilliant. Yes. Uh, no unrest level to drop here, uh, but uh, Sol uh, Picius does get plus two popularity. Just add one of the black or grey tokens to the popularity uh. box. 
Uh, and I'll take those funds away from him. Yep. Um, we are getting some really popular senators in in Rome. Um, good for Rome. Uh, maybe maybe bad uh, if you're a competitive senator looking for influence and popularity, perhaps. <laughs> Uh, great, and uh, that's going to wrap up your turn. Let's move on to the Optimates. Uh, look how quick we're going, folks. You guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Uh, uh, for Optimates and Cornelius, uh, Caleb, go ahead and roll your 2d6, and let's see what you get. He gets a 2. Go ahead and draw that top single card from the early Republic deck, and let's see what it is. We've had no bad events yet so far. We're doing pretty good. Hopefully don't, we haven't jinxed it. Don't say that. Touch wood, touch wood, touch wood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is it black text or red text? Uh, it is black text. Black text, please throw it in the sand pit and let's have a gander. All right. So in the, in the center field, I'm going to zoom in. Ah, oh, there so, you go. It's, uh, the, it's a good one. It's, uh, we've uh, now welcomed the, the gens and the family of uh, Paprius, uh, ID 11, uh, to the field. Does anybody already have uh, an 11 uh, statesman card? I don't think so. Just as we draw new senators, we just need to double check that. Uh, no, Cato is 22. Uh, who else has got one? And uh, 2A wow. is Fabius Maximus. No, that's fine. So yet another senator who can be persuaded to a faction. Uh, all right. And speaking of uh, persuasions, would you like to do one this evening, either from an aligned or unaligned senator in Rome? Uh, yes, so I like the senator. Let's, guy. let's pull out the uh, equation and pen. Uh, so certainly, who is the target of your persuasion attempt? Papirius. Uh, our new bloke. Very good. Um, so I'll pull this over here. Target Senator's current loyalty rating is 6. Um, and then uh, who is the Senator doing the persuading for this attempt? Uh, is it influence or oratory? I can't remember. So it'll be a total of oratory plus influence plus any bribes you wish to put forwards. Okay. So I'll put um, Fulvius forward. Uh, full of his fours. I'm going to have a gander at him. Okay, so he's got, uh, is it two oratory? Yeah, I'm just going to move some of your money. Two, in. yeah, two oratory and 14 influence. So 14 plus two, hopefully my math is correct, is 16. Minus the six is currently a base number of 10. Uh, are you adding any uh, bribes to that to make it easier? I'm not. No. Okay, okay very good. Um, uh, as uh, would dictate, we're going to go around uh, around the room uh, just to double check if anybody wishes to counter bribe against your attempt to make it a little bit more difficult. Noting that if you wish to do this, it uh, has to come from a faction treasury, ladies and gents. Has to come from a faction treasury. Um, so considering starting with the optimates, going clockwise, let's go to the Reapers party. Uh, are you putting any money forwards from your faction treasury to counter this persuasion attempt? Cornelius Dolabella. Oh, me? Yeah, yeah. From your faction treasury, would you like to yeah. counter this persuasion attempt with any money? Oh, on the un on the new senator? Correct. The yeah, make, the... To make oh, it hard. No, no, thank you. Not no. from you. Okay, to the uh, Tarquinius oh, no. Pro Praetor okay. party, anything from your faction treasury? No, nothing from me. Okay, scrolling across, Siwidus da Panem and Sopronius Aquila, anything from your faction treasury? No, not this. No. Okay, Hand of God, anything from your faction treasury? No, all right, so... This should be pretty good. We've got a base number of uh, 10. Um, so the, the what he needs to do here is it's a 2d6 less than or equal to 10. Go ahead and roll 2d6 there, please. Uh, and let's see what we get. And he gets an 8, ladies eight. and gentlemen. He has successfully um, influenced uh, Paprius to his faction. Go ahead and drag hey. him and drag him across. He is now part of your faction. Oh, what the hell is this doing? He's on the move. Very good. He seems to be pretty happy with his uh, um, new new appointment oh. to, the, to the faction. Just watching him move uh, move across the board now. <laughs> um, while you're while you're steadily dragging across, and we're waiting for our screens to update. Um, uh, rolling for knights this evening. Uh, Who will be doing that? Um, I think um, Julius. Julius, yep, certainly. Uh, genius, genius. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, ge yeah, genius, yes, good. Uh, is he uh, putting any funds forwards to make this easier for himself? Uh, two. Two, all right, throw those just next to your chest. I'll grab them just from the blank space there. Uh, so you need a four, five, or six on a 1d6, please. Uh, you get Ooh. one. Very yeah. good. He almost didn't need to put any money forwards. So go mm -hmm. ahead and throw, a, throw an extra knight onto, or one knight rather, he hasn't got any yet, onto Junius's card. Uh, will you be uh, changing faction leader today? I will not. And um, finally, sponsoring games, uh, will you be doing that? 
Uh, yes, can I do a uh, blood fest, please? A blood fest, which costs 13. Uh, throw that money just in an obvious place in the blank area, and I'll grab that from you. Uh, and then go ahead and add plus two popularity to that senator. Okay. Let me... Sorry, there's a lot of ones here. So this yeah, it's okay. Take, take, take your time. Don't, don't mess up your cards or your tokens. That's all right. No rush. There we go. So there's 13 there. Yeah, there's the 13. Oh, just make sure I don't grab anything. No, I'm going to accidentally grab the chest. There we go. Perfect. Move those out of the way. Drag them back to the bank. Just split up those coins into their respective trays. I think the rest are ones. Yeah, they are. They should be ones. Great, and that concludes your initiative. Let's go ahead across to the Reapers Party. Reapers Party, you are the second yeah. last uh, to do one here, noting we have to bid on the last initiative. Go ahead and roll your 2d6 and let's see what you get. Yeah. He rolls a 6, 7, 8. Uh, so go ahead and draw the top single card from the early Republic deck and add that will add to your hand. Uh, draw. Yep, draw into your hand. Yep. And that should change your above your camera from a two to a three. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, have you done that yet? Yeah, but I don't know where the card is. Uh, I'm curious as to know what you've. Have you actually drawn it? Yeah, I clicked draw. Um. Did you put one against it? Yeah. Did you? Did you? Do you have to? Add, for those that have done it before, what have you got to do to draw? Do you have to type a one in, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Have you have you done that, Cornelius? Oh, oh, okay. All yeah. Right. So you've drawn zero. Okay. So, all right. <laughs> One and draw. Yeah. There you go. Now it's in your hand. All right. So that new card that you've just received is it black text or red text? Uh, where is the new card? Uh, it's in your hand. So the little card icon above your camera. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. If you need camera. to, if it's up the top, drag your camera so you can see uh, when you click on your cards. So have a look at that new card. Zoom in if you need to. Click on it. And is it black text or red text? Hang on. It's taken a while to... That's okay. There's no rush. It'll oh. load. It'll take some uh, time. Um... Mm. Uh, well, it's got corrupt written on it. Uh, so that'll be and a red, red text. That's red text. So you get to hang yeah. on to that. You keep that. Okay. Yep. Very good. Uh, well, that's, that's a pretty good draw so far, folks. Okay, let's uh, finish your initiative there. Uh, would you like to make a persuasion attempt this evening? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, uh, not a problem. Uh, now, you're going to roll for a knight. Uh, which of your senators would you like to roll for a knight? Uh, Julius will roll for a knight, thanks. Julius is going to roll for a knight. Is he going to put any money forwards to make that easy for himself? Yeah, he's going to put forward four talents. Four talents. So that's, uh, that's pretty much an automatic, I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Uh, six, five, four, three, five. two. Yeah. So, yeah, so you need a two to six and a one D6. Go ahead okay. and go ahead so and roll. So just roll a one D6? Yeah, just don't roll a one. <laughs> Uh, D6. Wait for that to load on screen. Yeah, you just oh, get it. Just get it. Yeah. I'll, 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 uh, I'll grab a knight for you. I'll bring it into your area. There you go. I've popped thank it you. on his card for you. He's already got it. Oh, thank you. Very good. Uh, okay, would you like to change faction leader? Uh, no, I don't think so. And finally, are you going to be sponsoring games today? Uh, no, because no, I don't have enough money. No, and noting you've already donated to the state treasury. That's very good. Yeah. All right, ladies and gents, we are now going to bid on the sixth and final initiative, uh, where, as you would have seen in previous rounds, you get to have a go at all those four steps again. Um, and we'll start with the highest ranking available officer. Minimum bid is one, and you must uh, increase the bid to uh, to win. Um, so starting with uh, Taquinius Faction, any bids from you from any single personal treasury? Yes, uh, Kato the Elder will bid two. Okay, drop those into the uh, sand pit for me. Uh, moving across to Sivuus Dapanem, any bids from you? No. Okay, Hand of God, any bids from you? Uh, no. Uh, Optimates, any bids from you? Optimates and Cornelius Calum, any bids from you? Um, no. No, and finally Reaper's Party, any bids from you? Got no. Three or more, all right. Uh, those two talents will go to the bank, and the sixth and final initiative is going to go to the uh, Tarquinius Proprietor faction. Uh, let's uh, start the ball rolling uh, with uh, any uh, persuasion attempt for you. Persuasion goes first, doesn't it? Yes, persuasion. Uh, praises, persuasion. Oh, sorry, we need to do your 2d6. That's right. So, yeah, good, good reminder. Do your 2d6 roll for me. Uh, he rolls a three. Go ahead and uh, draw the top card from the early Republic deck for me. 
Uh, Alright, and just do the check as usual, red text or black text. Um, I think it's red text. Red text, okay, you'll hang on to that and you'll keep that uh, in your hand. Just check that for me. Yeah, all right, let's see let's see if it's working for me now. Let me have a look. It's the standing man. The standing man. Um, for some reason, it's not allowing me to view view cards this evening. Uh, perhaps if you just whisper to me the, the content of the card, just type some of the text into a whisper for me uh, and we'll just confirm via whisper. Um, and uh, we'll just double check, just so you don't have to inadvertently play a card that you don't necessarily have to. So I'll just uh, just wait for that. Yeah, just type some of the text in, and I uh, should be able to deduce from there. Okay, that is definitely a uh, red text card. You will keep that. Um, okay. Um, great. Okay, now we'll, I'll ask the question, would you like to do a persuasion attempt? Yeah, I'll try a persuade on... Uh... Plotius. Yeah, certainly. Plotius. Okay, so he's currently current loyalty rating is six. There's nothing, no other uh, influences on him at the moment. Uh, uh, who is your persuading senator from your faction? Cato the Elder. Cato the Elder. So he is made up of uh, oratory six plus influence of nine. Um, so that's a total of fifteen. Uh, minus six. Uh, are you putting any? No uh, funds. No. No, no, no bribes. So, current base number is 9. Is my math correct, everybody? Yep, so, 15, so. 15 yep. minus 6 is, is 9. Uh, so, we'll just quickly roll around the table. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. Oh, holding. What's up? Sorry, I, I forgot you were going to go around the table. We'll proceed anyway. Yep, we'll see what happens. Um, so, uh, see we just pun M. Anything from your faction treasury? Do you want to counter bribe? Oh, let's make it interesting. Yeah, one. Uh, any any counter-bribes throw into the sand pit for me from your from your faction treasury. Uh, while you're doing that, Hand of God, any counter-bribes? No. Okay, Optimates, any counter-bribes from your faction treasury? Uh, two, please. Uh, throw that in the sand pit for me. Uh, Reaper's Party, any counter-bribes from your faction treasury? Uh, no. Okay, so just throw those um, counter-bribes from your faction treasuries into the sand pit, please, and we'll reconfirm our base number. <laughs> In, in Dominus is uh, perhaps not, not overly impressed. <laughs> Should be six, I think. Uh, any more talents to come? Nobody else is moving talents? Nope. So, um, yeah, those ones that I put up to um, get the knight, where have they got to go? Uh, uh, are they still to come, are they? I think so, yeah. I had three, didn't I? Uh, right. Uh, are they at the top there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll, I, I'll take those. Just put those in the sp f spare space down the middle, and uh, and I can um, take those away where, just a moment. Where do you want me to put them? Uh, just just uh, just in the bottom of your area, and I'll take them away from you in just a moment. Oh, okay. Thanks for the reminder. I thought I did it. Okay, uh, so a new base number is six. So you need to roll six or less on a two d six. Um, uh, so go ahead and uh, and do that, and see how you go. <laughs> He gets it. He gets a four. He's done it. Mm. He's done it. Nice. Go ahead and take uh, Platius into your faction. That's uh, that's a pretty darn good roll. <laughs> that is a pretty darn good roll. Uh, all right. So let's clear some funds from the table. Um, so what happens? What happens to those bribes? Does does the senator keep those bribes? No, nah, the bribes go to the bank. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, disregard. No, you are right. The senator keeps those bribes. So I've got to put. Um, it was it three back on his card. Yeah. Nine, eight, seven, six. Ooh. So uh, stand by. I'm going to give that money back to you there. Didn't realise uh, that was a consequence. Indominus. <laughs> yeah, he gets to keep those talents. So uh, <laughs> they're on his card now. They're Indominus. That's his money. Okay. All right. We've, we've sorted that out. Indominus. <laughs> uh, okay. Now let's talk about knights. Would you like to? Who's going to be rolling for a knight today? Um, yeah, I will get uh, Aurelius to roll for a knight. Okay, uh, I'm the fact that I can't see any money, I'm assuming it's not uh, don't oh, actually, putting anything forwards. Actually, I'll put Plotius to roll for a knight. Okay, he's got, yep. He's going to put two coins on it. Okay, a four, mm. five, or a six. Um, I'll, um, you've moved the two coins. All right, go ahead and uh, roll your 1d6 on it and get a four, five, or a six. He gets a three, unlucky. Unlucky. So he had some good luck and some bad luck this evening. 
So far, okay. Uh, are you going to be changing faction leader today? No. And finally, sponsoring any games? Uh, no. Okay, we have ripped through the initiatives, and uh, you guys will have to be uh, breathing a massive sigh of relief that no other major war cards or heroes were drawn <laughs> in that set of initiatives. Uh, and yeah. you all, most of you all got man a, shortage. All man <laughs> shortage as well. That's the, that threat still to come. Um, uh, and some of you even walked away with some really nice faction cards there. So uh, that's fantastic. Right, let's put Rome in order. Um, so everybody who's currently holding a major office, so Rome console, field console. Sorry, before you jump on that, hold it. I just need a reminder on, on how uh, I calculate my faction votes and faction influence. Uh, sure. Can we do that in just a moment? Okay. Yep, but that's that's a good reminder, but we'll do that in just, just a tick. Um, so all officers currently, uh, so all Rome consoles, field consoles, Pontifus Maximus, if you've got a purple square on your senator right now, go ahead and grab yourself a major corruption marker, the red major marker from the left-hand bottom side there, and put that on that card. Okay, <laughs> that senator. A major, major token. Um, major. So uh, Reaper's Party doesn't have to do that. They've got none. Um, Cato the Elder will need one. Uh, Sivuus de Panem doesn't need to do it. Uh, Terentius from the Hand of God will need one. And there's quite a few heading towards the Optimates. Uh, so Fabius Maximus is getting one. Uh, Alias is getting one. Um, very good. Um, who's, our, who's our field console right now? Uh, oh, that, that is Fabius. That's Fabius, yeah. I see. Yep. Uh, great. Okay, that's that's all done. Uh, so just double check. Everybody um, should have the corruption portion of their uh, concessions revealed behind their senators right now. Um, so yeah, on on that. Yes. The, the card just the, the card that I mm -hmm. it was a concession card, and I'm trying to put it under a senator, but it won't let me put it under him. No, you can't play any new concession cards you've got in this round. Okay. Oh, I can't play it in this Yeah, game. so okay. take, take that back into your hand. How do I put it back in my hand? Uh, Right-click, take to hand. Uh, okay, hang on. Uh, Right-click, yep. take card. Yep, that's it. Oh, there it goes. Thank you. Uh, all right, so, yep, so for all those, so I'm looking at the Hand of God faction as well. Uh, everybody mm -hmm. bar one, the shipbuilding one there, everybody should be uh, drawing out so to reveal the corrupt portion of their concession cards. Okay, because uh, everybody bar one of them should have received money from their concessions this round. Okay, and that will just let the censor know that you're eligible for prosecution. All right, uh, moving on. Hold on uh, a sec. Holding on, holding. Yeah, now they all go back because we agree that there would be no prosecution. Uh, that, that doesn't change the no. fact that they're corrupt. Yes. <laughs> uh, but right, as per your public agreement, uh, there may well there should be no prosecutions. Um, but that doesn't change the fact that there is still corruption. Um, and that's just for completeness sake. Okay, we don't have any slave revolts or second Punic Wars, so no no action there. Um, and we don't currently have any dead senators or enemy leaders, uh, nothing in the Curia that we need to worry about right now either. Okay, before we move into the population phase, as Indominus pointed out, let's all go ahead and recalculate our faction votes, our faction influence. So talking about faction votes, remember it is your oratory plus knights. That will be your total for your faction vote. So go ahead and update your faction votes box. Oratory plus knights of all of your senators combined. Grab your little black and grey tokens and update your faction votes box. That's oratory plus knights combined of all of your senators. And that would have changed for nearly everybody. So your tokens flying everywhere. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm not gonna... everywhere. Not everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna have a sip of tea while so, you're doing that. So it's oratory plus you get one for each night. Correct. That is correct. Okay. And influence is just pure adding that up the influence. That, that is correct. So, and for obviously for your faction influence box, go ahead and just add up all the influence of all of your senators that you've got. Nice. Uh, Sorry, do I get extra influence for being a censor? Ugh. I know it says four and plus five, but I'm not sure. So when when you were elected censor, did you add that influence to Terentius? Uh, yes, I did actually. Yeah, yes. so yeah, no, no further action yeah. at this stage. Okay, cool. So, so the oratory, mm -hmm. is that, does that go in the faction votes? Correct, yes it does. Well, I've already got seven in there. Okay, very good. Um, so let me, I'll double check for you now. But it should have only been six. Three, four, five, six, seven. No, you should be eight. 
I've just counted yeah. yours. You, you should have eight faction votes. So add all your oh, oratory, yes, right. or, oratory plus knights, so that should now be eight faction yeah, votes. that's the extra one I should have eight in there. That's yes. it, correct. You got it. So uh, go. Um, would you like me to grab you a new token? Actually, yes, please, because you can do it so much faster than I can. Okay, um, I'm bringing up, there's your eight. You want to throw it in the box and I'll take your seven away here. Yeah, okay, thank you. Um, very good. Uh, I know so Indominus has a nice little stash of grey tokens up there. That's very good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so now what we're going to... Uh, oh, the influence is just all the senators. Uh, yeah, all the, all the influence of your senators, that will be your total in your faction influence. Right, so. You didn't meet him in the fire, Okay. Alright, let's. Oh, I've actually lost two, according to. No, you shouldn't have. Uh, let's double check. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. No, you, you haven't changed. Oh, okay, so it's, it's, it's what they've got the influence plus. No, that's it, just influence. So you've got 11 on Julius. Yeah. You've got three from uh, Achilles. Yeah, that's And 14. you've got five on oh, Valerius. Five on, yeah, so 19, yeah. Right. There, there we go. All right, so let's just have a quick round the board. So the Tequinius faction's on 16 votes. Uh, I'm assuming our good Quaister is updating the centre vote tally board. Uh, so, yeah, Tequinius faction's on 16 votes there. So we just Panem is 10 votes now. Hand of God sitting on 7. Optimates on a strong 15. And uh, the Reapers Party on eight faction votes there. Um, the most influential faction right now with 29 influences, the Optimates, followed very closely Jeez. by the Tarquinius faction. If you haven't done so already, uh, make sure your total faction influence is updated on the influence tracker on the bottom left-hand side of the player board, uh, the big red ribbon. Um, so make sure your token is in the correct place there as well. That just helps to give everybody a, a good view of... Uh, the faction influence. Okay. All right. Anybody still moving tokens? Did you already move mine, Warwick? Yep. Uh, yours are, you're yours are you're good to go, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I just noticed that he's already on nineteen. Uh, yeah. you, 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 you're so quick. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Okay, I think we're ready to proceed, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we are now going to move into the population phase. First of all, let's adjust the unrest level for every unprosecuted war. We're going to increase the unrest level by two, ladies and gentlemen. Quaista, if you could increase unrest by two for the two unprosecuted wars that we have in the central zone. So it's a good thing we dispensed lots of games to so got it down to zero. So we're going to go from zero back to two. All right, and, uh, and just as a brief reminder, so before we allow the... Rome Consul uh, from the Tarquinius Pro Praetor faction to give his uh, speech. Note that his speech and then his subsequent 3D6 roll will commence the Senate phase. Uh, and then uh, it will start with the Rome Consul putting his one and only proposal forwards, which is a set of candidates for the new consuls. Uh, and that will be voted on um, and then we will continue from there. But once those um, consuls have been officially uh, elected and voted in. We'll take a break at that point uh, like we normally do uh, where you can have a, a leg stretch and then uh, the consuls can discuss amongst themselves and the Rome consul can think about his policy for the coming year. Okay, so now that the unrest level is adjusted to two, I'm now going to hand over to the Rome consul to conduct his speech and when he is finished, go ahead and roll your uh, 3d6. Uh, well, <coughs> uh, fellow Romans, countrymen, um, we are in dire straits. We have had a terrible year last year, but we've managed to go through it. The people love us. We're doing the right things. They um, want us to continue leading them, and they want us to continue to uh, uh, do the things we've been doing. But uh, one of the things they want us to do is to get rid of our enemies, reduce our battles from all fronts to no fronts, and uh, let's starting with one. and. Uh, <clears throat> That is uh, where I'm going to be pushing for with my votes, is to go to war and uh, show those barbarians who's boss. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> with that all said, um, I want to thank everyone for their sponsorship of games. I think that's been a great help for, the, for, um, for Rome. 
and uh, brought us back onto the right track. And, and thank you very much to Reapers Party specifically for the funding uh, and donations to the State Treasury. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> without further ado, then, I would like to uh, start the Senate and make my first proposition. Do I roll 3d6 first or? That is correct, yep. All right, 3d6 is 14 plus 6 makes uh, for your popularity is 20 minus 2 gives us 18. Uh, and anything 18 or greater, greater is minus 3 from the unrest level. So our unrest level is going to go from 2 yes. back to 0. Uh, that was the greatest speech of all time. Uh, only only equal to the speech as that of Cicero. Uh, that was truly astounding. Uh, wow. What a what a what a great speech! Uh, I'm actually in tears. That was that was really that was really amazing. Um, gosh, wow. Mm. Well, I've got to remain humble, but um, I must say I was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so RRS levels back to zero, um, and yep, we are now in the Senate phase. So yes, back to the Rome Consul to continue uh, with his proposal. Now, uh, sorry, another quick reminder: our scriber, which I still believe is Cornelius Calum. Make sure every proposal that's come through, uh, keep all those details as per the template. Um, and votes for and against, uh, record those as well, as well as who uh, puts forward the proposal, which is normally the presiding magistrate. Um, and obviously you're noting, say, candidates in the case of consoles or whatever as well. But you're all, you're all over that. I was pretty happy with what you did for the last set of minutes. Um, sorry, I just want to put that in there. Okay, let's, let's continue. So I nominate the next uh, wrong consul. Is that the first one that I do? So no, 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 no. So you propose in pairs candidates for the next set of consuls. So right. they themselves will decide who is Rome and who is field consul. You just have to put forward two candidates as a proposal, as per well, the uh, cheat sheet. As I'm thinking about it, I'm checking my whisper window, but there's no comments there. So, <laughs> you're obviously uncorruptible. <clears throat> What's the saying? What's the power corrupts? Total power corrupts totally. <laughs> Uh, and uh, for those that have access to the, the Facebook, and I guess it's on email for uh, Posthumous Awem, remember I've done up the live senator role, which lists every senator and every faction and all their statistics and details, I guess, which makes a nice uh, in-your-face summary for making decisions like this as well. So that's another reference you can look upon. So my proposal as a pair of consuls for Rome to take over from... Uh, my brilliant leadership is uh, A, furious, and B, uh, Julius from the Reapers Party. Yeah. So what's that? Furious and Julius. Furious. That's furious. So which party is furious or are they both leapers? Furious is Furious is from the uh, the census. Okay. So who's Furious from? Uh Sibibus. Top right. Sibibus. So it's Julius four. Yeah. Uh, so okay. So we we vote now, yeah? No, that, that's up to the presiding magistrate to decide. Oh. So, as presiding magistrate, um, can I take uh, counter proposals or nominations? You can run your senate as you as you wish. If you want to open up to further discussion, you may allow that. Yeah, I, I would suggest Flaminius rather than Furious to take a higher military ranking. That's a fair point. Uh, I wasn't thinking of Furious as being a military leader. Okay. It was it was uh, probably what, Julius. Oh, uh, Julius has got good military. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Julius has done Julius. it before. Yeah. We've both got four. So once that Julius has done it before, are you allowed yeah. to be consul again or is it 
So the only people not eligible for consoles in this proposal is any current consoles. So roam or field. Okay. And he's got he's got the loyalty of that legion as well. That's that's not necessarily an advantage for Rome. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but sure. <laughs> let, let. Actually, not that legal either, just quietly. <laughs> Okay, uh, in that case, there's no counter comments, no arguments against this, so let's vote on it. Um, and can we start with uh, the Sibibius dan pendam et sesentis? Sentences. To give it your votes. 10 4. Uh, uh, is the optimist still our scribe, or is this? Um... Yep, I'm scribing. Okay, thank you. Uh, next is hand of God. Uh, we will vote uh, seven four. And thank you, uh, optimists. Uh, I'll put all fifteen in, so um, fifteen four. Thank you very much. And Reapers party. Eight four. And last is myself. Um, Tarquinius votes 16 in favour. Cool. 56 4, 0 against. Unanimous. Oh man, let's all hold hands and sing Kumbaya. Wow. Um. <laughs> well, what are we? We're at the Republic today. <laughs> this isn't the Roman Republic. <laughs> well, it is. We're in trouble, so we're all uniting together to oh, beat the barbarians. There's going to be some Republic, teeth. Yes, the Republic, no. <laughs> There's going to be some teeth gnashing later. Holy dooly. All right. Yeah, cool. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, just, I'm just adding my commentary. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. So now that we've uh, elected our new proposals, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, take a break at this point. Uh, for those that are all watching the stream, uh, our senators are just going to take a, a brief break, uh, refresh their drinks, stretch their legs. Uh, that allow the consoles to discuss amongst themselves as well about who's going to be who, uh, and also give the Rome console an opportunity to think about his coming proposals uh, for the, the the year to come. So uh, uh, well, I'm going to I'm going to change. We don't know who's Rome console yet, though, do we? Uh, no, the, the Rome Consul will be decided in just a moment from the the two new uh, senators that were proposed. Uh, so. Um, so, reading back from the script, Scriber, who are our new consoles? Uh, they are Furious and Julius. Okay, so they're going to start to discuss amongst themselves about who's going to be who, uh, but everyone else in the meantime, uh, let's uh, let's all go take a break. All right, see you guys. Okay, uh, for those uh, watching from home and uh, watching the stream, and uh, or if you've just joined us, uh, we are currently live with the third assembly of the Republic of Rome board game by Valley Games. Uh, played here by five, currently four, uh, players that you see on screen. One is still getting a coffee or a wine or some other liquor. We, we're not sure. Um, and uh, we have just taken a break. We now have entered the Senate phase, and the two new elected consoles are just deciding amongst themselves uh, who is going to be the Rome console and who is going to be the field console uh, for this coming year. And, uh, and then very shortly, we'll have the field console introduce the Rome console, and then the Rome console will take control as presiding magistrate for the Senate, and uh, will continue with his um, uh, proposals for the coming year. Albert, he needs some more time to maybe decide what those proposals might be. So uh, we'll just continue to let the current consoles. Current consoles, do you have consensus on who's who? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to reply. Uh, same command slash forward slash W yeah. space. Uh, the name of the person you're whispering to, and if you, as you start to type the name under their camera, it should auto-complete. You can click on the drop-down auto-complete, and then space, then type your message. And if it comes up in yellow, you know you've succeeded. Uh, so forward slash W, space, the name of the person, hit the... Well, which name? <laughs> uh, well, who are you whispering to? Well, but I mean, we've all got several names. I'm not sure which... Uh, it's the one you see under the cameras. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Well, there's still a couple, but so yeah, as you start to type those, um, the auto complete drop down menu should pop up. You should be able to click on the one you want to talk to. Uh, no, no, auto complete. No, I reckon you can't find it. Um, well, we, we we obviously know who you're talking to. Who's who's that? Yeah, Sopranos. <laughs> yeah, right. So if you type in C colon, uh, he's it should start to pop up. Let me let me just double check to make sure I'm I'm not a liar. Let's have a look. 
Um, yep, it comes up for me. So as a drop down menu, it, it pops up. Uh, no, I typed C colon and nothing happened. Ah, sorry, not colon, uh, decimal or, or stop. C dot. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, it colon was incorrect. That might have been my bad. Uh, no. so, so that was a fail. Whoever tried that, there's a, there was a speech marks before it, or is that? Uh... Yeah, I think that was um, an example. Uh, who, uh, whoever who had talked right then, you were very very quiet. Who was that? Marcus. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. I can see uh, 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 Sempronius, Sempronius, you were very quiet there. I think you 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 got quite quiet on us. Yeah, you're very quiet, Sempronius. You're very, you're like very, very quiet now, for some reason. So, do I call him Aldo or Sempronius or what? Uh, whatever comes C up dot. in your, whatever just comes C up, dot. yeah, just C dot. I'm just gonna go out and come back in here. Okay, no problem. Okay, so some Pronius is just loading back in. Is that better? Nah, still the same volume, unfortunately. Uh, just check your uh, computer mixer volume and just check uh, those settings are correct. Yeah, obviously something happened during your, your laptop hibernation there. Marked up a volume somewhere. Um, where else could uh, volume... There's no volume controls within the settings, is there? No. Do, 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 do. So I, I type C dot, and what's it supposed to bring up his name? Yeah, and all little auto compete box will just drop up just underneath that text box. So directly underneath the text box, it should pop up. It, it'll should say Marcus first, and then C dot, and you can click on C dot there. And uh, no, nothing popped up. All right, just type in. Uh, let me do a test here, see if this works. Yeah. So if you just type in forward slash W space C dot space, and then your message, that should work. Okay. Oh, that well? that's it. It went to it. Perfect. There you go. Okay. So now, uh, Sempronius uh, and and Cornelius can continue their discussion about uh, who should uh, be Rome and field consul. Just give them a, a, another quick moment. Uh, everyone else in the Senate, feel free to have a discussion if you like about uh, coming strategy. But ultimately, it'll be up to the presiding magistrate to truly decide the proposals to be put forward. Uh, if you're trying to talk Sempronius, we can't hear you. <laughs> you, 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 may, uh, you may be uh, limited to, to text box potentially, which is uh, which which will be tough if you're uh, if you're uh, uh, going to be Rome Consul <laughs> for the Hunting Magistrate this round. <laughs> so uh, we'll let him uh, do some testing and some fiddling and uh, continue his discussion with uh, Cornelius Dolabella. He really has gone in the whisper mode. <laughs> well, he's disappeared yeah, again. Uh, he'll be no doubt doing some testing with his settings. <laughs> um, so, as a, as a quick plug, uh, don't forget um, uh, the, your use of Tribune cards uh, if you've got them and wish to use them. Um, no, we can't hear you, Indominus. Uh, you've you've muted mm -hmm. your. You, oop, what have I done? Oh dear, let's go back in. I jumped out. Let's let, let me go back into the stream. <laughs> let's let's roll let's roll let's roll back in. Uh, those watching at home, here we go. Gathering stream, coming back in. Ah, oh, I hit my back button. I don't like my Logitech mouse. Oh dear. Okay, so let's let everyone load back in. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, I, I hit the back button on my mouse. It's terrible, and I bounced myself out. <laughs> <down. laughs> okay. Well, you're back, but Aldo's still missing. Uh, Aldo's back on my screen. Um, I can see yeah. Aldo. I think it's time to do some reconnecting. Yeah. We're reconnect. Let, let's do oh. some reconnecting. Let's all let's all make sure we can see everybody. Oh God. Uh, you're still quiet there, Sempronius. Good old technical difficulties. Here we go. <laughs> all right. I've lost it. 
Uh, yeah, no, they're, everyone, everyone's refreshing. I, you're still quiet. I can just just hear some Pronius, but everyone's <clears> doing <throat> some reconnects now. Everyone's reconnecting on my screen also. Okay, I've got Mark back on the screen. Um, still haven't got a, a I haven't got a Chris yet or a, or a, or a Cornelius Kalem. I haven't got him yet. Okay, I've got Cornelius Kalem back on. I'm back. He is indeed. Um, and just give us a sound test in Dominus. Uh, have we got you back live? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Great. You've, uh, you're, you're unmuted there now. Well done. Uh, just waiting for Posthumous Arwem to come back. Has anyone else seen him? Uh, I can see him, but he's frozen for me. No. Oh, no, there you go. He just moved. Uh, okay, so, so we've got um, we've got uh, Cornelius Dolabella trying to log back in again now. Uh, uh, Henry, uh, I can't see you yet. Can anyone else see Henry? Yeah, I can see Henry. Got him. I've got him. I've got him. I've got him. Uh, just test your volume yeah, yeah. there for us, Posthumous. Oh, no volume on Posthumous. Try that again. Ah, sorry guys. Oh, perfect. Your volume is fantastic go. now. I oh, love your sorry. volume. That's great. You've, you've awesome. fixed your volume. Very good. Uh, and uh, Sempronius is now re-logging in again, um, hopefully with some volume. Uh, uh, can anyone else see uh, Cornelius Dolabella? Uh, yes, I can see. No, he's dropped yeah. off. Oh. Yeah, he's, 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 he's dropped off on me too. You there, Dodgy? Okay, I'll reconnect. Yeah, try to reconnect, Chris. I can. I can. Do a full refresh. Do a full refresh. Yeah, I don't think the rest can see you though. No, I can't see him. Just do another one. Uh, Cornelius Calum's bounced out again. Oh, someone's over mine. Hang on. His image is over the top of mine, or I'm over the top of his image. Ah, uh, right. I think what happens if I move the cameras initially, it moves it for everybody else, but then you're free to move your cameras after that, I think. Is that what happens? Or oh, no, there'll be a default log on or something that occurs in positioning. <coughs> All right. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, I've got some Pronius back. Let's do an audio check. Uh, keep talking for me. Testing one, two, three. Uh, it's, I think it's slightly better. You're still quiet, but it'll do. It'll do. All right, so uh, you're all right now. So we'll just wait for everyone else to finish their reconnects. Uh, Cornelius Kalen failed to come up on my screen. Is, has anyone else got him? I can hear you afterwards. So, so I've got... I don't have Cornelius. He's, I don't have... He's slow. So, oh, I know. Okay, I've got everyone. Has everyone got everyone? Nope. I can see no, everybody. Chris. Okay, here's a trick I tried. Uh, just do the top right-hand side of your camera. Hit that button instead if you haven't been doing that already. If you haven't, can't see someone, just hit the top right-hand side of your camera oh, yeah. and do that one. What do you mean the top right-hand? Oh, mm. I see. There's a little, little okay. reconnect button. If you can't see everyone, just hit that top right-hand um, oh, and see good. if that works, yeah. everyone. Is that, are everyone good now? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. All right, that was that was quicker. All right, we'll have to remember that for the future. That's what I just did, and I got everyone back. So uh, thanks for the patience of everybody watching the stream at home. Okay, <laughs> now that we're all reconnected again, uh, Sempronius and Cornelius Dolabella, uh, have you guys decided who Roman Field Console is? Yeah. You have? All right, very good. If you have decided, uh, I'll now ask the Field Console to now give a grand introduction for the Rome Console, please. Please introduce them to the Senate. As, as per the senator that's elected. So, Chris, I think that's you. Well, it's Sempronius, isn't it? Isn't he? Well, Who's the fields? So, who, all right, so I'll ask you the question directly, Cornelius Dolabella. Out of the, the, the two of you, who decided to be field consul? Uh, I'm field consul. Right. Well, so, is, so is that is that Julius? Is it so? Right. So you Julius acting you acting on behalf of Julius are now to introduce the Rome consul, the senator who is Rome consul. Give a grand introduction for the Senate, and uh, and welcome him in. So all rise or whatever you'd like to say. <laughs> okay. So the uh, uh, fellow Romans senators. So the the new uh, consul is uh, Furious. 
Three. Short and brief. I like it. <laughs> Very good. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and let's actually put some uh, some purple markers on respective tokens. So if you currently have the Roman Field Console marker, could you please provide them to the respective new consoles, please, as well as the name plaques. If you could also drop them on their respective play zones now as well. Well, yeah, Julius is going to be the field console. So if you're, uh, so yep, uh, Optimus is going to hand over the field console name plaque as well as the purple okay. token. All right. Uh, so I'm going to help out um, Cornelius Dolabella here. I'm going to uh, increase his influence for Julius. So he's going to go um, to 16 now. So I need to grab him a six. Woohoo! 16 influence. So go ahead and update your influence now, consoles. Thank you, Waza. Pleasure. Um, good. And you've got the field console token on him now. All right. Uh, who's got the Rome console marker? You need to pass that across. I'm looking at you, Indominus. I've got it. I have moved it across. Oh, sorry. It's just not refreshed on my screen for some reason. Uh, what about the purple Rome console token on, on Kato? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. they've both got to go across. And uh, now Furious gets to add the number eight for his influence now. Um, so Sempronius, you'd like to grab a number eight token and um, and add that to Furious. So he'll be now have eight influence in total. Does the faction influence go up now as well? Yes, it uh, certainly does. So if you'd like to update your box uh, as well as your right. faction tracker token, by all means, yeah, update your faction influence. So, so how much did I go up by? So you, five. You need to add five. So I need to add five. So I need 24. Um, and the current presiding um, magistrate plaque can go across as well. There we are. Now, I get a um, green token or something? Please, yes. If you were a console in the last round, um, please grab a green prior console token. That is correct. Um, so um, both factions can do that. Uh, so Optimates, who was uh, your field console there? So make sure uh, Fabius Maximus gets one. Uh, Cornelius Calum, do you read, over? <laughs> Cornelius Calum, hello, testing. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, make sure Fabius Maximus, as a prior console, gets a green prior console marker for his card. Yep. Great. All right, and, and Cato now has one as well. Fantastic. All right, I think we're okay there. All right, uh, we're just waiting on Furious to update his influence. Make sure the I'll put the eight on the correct token for you. There, it's on the Rome console. There we go. All right. Okay. Uh, I think all the influence has now been done. All right. So now it's going to go over to the Rome console, the new presiding magistrate, to run his Senate, uh, noting that the uh, well, I guess he's he's got an additional option there, but I'll let let him decide. Just follow your cheat sheet there. Uh, Rome console, uh, aka Furious, uh, but yeah, the Senate is now yours. Okay, so can you can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yep. All right, so we've done that. So do we, have, we next have to. Do we have to vote the Pontifus Maximus again? Uh, only if that is your desire and your agenda. Just noting that if you wish to vote out the current Pontifus Maximus, it requires a two-thirds majority vote, uh, and subsequently you would uh, you don't have to vote in a new Pontifus Maximus, but that is also then an option after that point as well. But it's totally up to you. Okay. Uh, no, I won't call for that. Um, censor. So... Um, do we have any nominations for censor? 
That is uh, for, for you to uh, decide. Oh, noting me to decide. That's that is correct. You put forward the proposal. Now, noting okay, your proposed so... your proposed candidate must have a prior console marker, and it can be the current sensor as well. They are also eligible. And then you'll put that to vote. Right. All right, thank you for the follow. Uh, board game. It looked like board game militia. I missed it, but uh, thanks for the follow. Hope you're, hope you're enjoying this evening. Uh, uh, let us know, have you played Republic of Rome before, this particular one, or the Avalon Hill version, potentially? Uh, but yes, this is definitely the Valley Games edition of, of, uh, of Republic of Rome. But uh, uh, I'm the current censor, so I'm happy to keep, keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Noting that uh, whoever is uh, officially elected as censor gets an additional five influence. So, I think it's good to have um, generals who've returned from war. They're very trustworthy. <laughs> yeah, you didn't actually go to war last time. That is a very wise decision from generals sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to go to war this time, though, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, and I guess the other thing that's interesting and uh, probably noteworthy to point out at this point is based on the public agreement... Um, uh, there is a condition or a caveat here. So over to the scriber, if you just want to reiterate what that caveat was for this part here. Yes, so essentially the agreement was that the censor um, would ignore any um, concessionary income which was used to either um, reduce unrest or to um, support the troops. Right, and uh, the, the second part of that was that there was agreed to be no prosecutions this round. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. Right. Uh, and that, that was the key the key note that we're looking at uh, at here um, is uh, right so the sensor is is not going to uh, have a job necessarily but um, it was now it was uh, just I just want to really just take note of the, can you read out that specific portion about the sensor not making prosecutions because we, we need to make sure that's clear was it just no prosecutions at all? Uh, it wasn't that. It was specifically. Uh, so it was in the chat window. Um, there was no prosecutions. Oh, I'll, I'll let you read it out. I presume you're off it down. Yes, I did write it down, but it's in the chat log that I'm trying to get into. It was specific. It was specific. There was no prosecutions for all the using the concession. All raised from the concessions will go towards. The state treasury or reducing unrest no prosecutions shall be made for this all right yeah. so the, 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 the uh, reapers and of god optimates and tarquinius so the, the the for this is, is it makes it interesting it'd be interesting to have a, a lawyer on so the way i interpret <laughs> that statement is if you used your concessions to pay for either sponsoring of games or donating to the state treasury you cannot be prosecuted this round Correct. If yeah. you did not uh, use money from concessions, you are eligible for prosecutions. I think there's a, a slight variation to that. Uh -huh. And that is you are exempt from minor prosecutions. Yes, right, and I I, yeah, actually. That I is what we discussed. That, that, yeah. I do recall that, 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 I do recall that coming yeah. up. Um, so therefore, major prosecutions are still eligible this round. Does everybody agree that that was in fact what was agreed upon? Yes. yes. Agree that it was agreed upon. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's still a potential job for the censor here, but it'll be up to the censor to decide. So, anyway, mm -hmm. that was a bit of a loop. Let's go back to the Rome console now to hear his proposal on the censor candidate. Okay. So I, uh, I propose Fabius for censor. Quintus Fabius Maximus. Of the optimates. Of the yep. I think the optimates have been proven reliable from a sensor perspective. And shall we go to vote? That's up to you. And we will start with that was a rhetorical question. <laughs> yeah, of course it was. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with the Reapers party. Uh, yeah, I'll go eight votes in favour. Then we'll go to Tarquinius. Um, I'm going to abstain. No, nah, no more abstentions are allowed. So yes or no? Um, no. 
Uh, how many votes? You need to articulate that for the scriber. 16. 16. Mm. Okay, so do I go last? Uh, yes, that is up your, to you. Your choice. Yeah, okay. so you get to determine the order in which votes are called upon. Hand of God? Uh, I will vote seven against. Oof. Optimates? Uh, I'll vote 15 4. And Sivibus vote 10 4. Oof. I think that's the closest vote so far. So 33 4. 23 against. Motion passes. Very good. Uh, in that case, then, uh, if the current sensor could pass on both the name plaque and purple uh, notification token to the new sensor, please. Uh, yes. Uh... Sensor. Sensor. Sorry, who's uh, proposing that? Was that uh, Furious? Oh, it. shit. That's my... Take your chest back. That's it. There we go. Uh, sorry, folks. I keep hitting the back button on my mouse. This is terrible. <laughs> I'm, I'm, changing my, I'm changing my mice after this. I, I, I keep bouncing myself out. That's, that's, that's terrible. <clears throat> All right, I'm, I'm loading back in. I'm loading. I've got to stop hitting that back button on my mouth. It's, it's killing me. <laughs> Absolutely killing me. All right. Sorry, I'm just loading back in. Just give me a moment. Um, uh, can everyone see me? Is anyone that can't see me? I can see you. All right, good. Thank you. Oh, dear. That, that is a terrible button. <laughs> I'm going to remove it or just buy a new mouse. But it's really hard to find decent mice that don't have those buttons near the thumb. You can turn them. Yeah, you can definitely turn them off. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of it. It's uh, absolutely that's twice, twice the night I've done that. Okay, mm. so the, the new sensor, I, I can see you're updating your your uh, plus five uh, influence now. That's very good. Uh, I'll just let you finish that off. Uh, and then, if the Rome console could just pass over the presiding magistrate name plaque to the sensor and his faction, please, because he is now going to run the the next component of the Senate just temporarily, um, and then he'll hand that presiding magistrate beacon back to you in just a moment done 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 indeed okay uh all right uh, over to fabius maximus aka the sensor you get, your influence goes to 34 doesn't it? it it does i'm just trying to find a four and i can't find one i can uh, <laughs> make one if, if necessary all right let me make one for you stand by <laughs> thank you i'm gonna i'm gonna oop, i'm gonna make some more fours uh hang on stand by uh, go ahead and uh, take what you need there now. Thank you. Uh, I love being able to create things at will. It's, it's, it's brilliant. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to continue in the Optimatis tradition of believing in the best of men. Um, and um, I will not proceed with any prosecutions because I believe... I believe everyone has been uh, working for the greater good of Rome. Holy dooly. Yeah. Well. <laughs> All right, go ahead and pass the presiding magistrate name plaque back to the Rome console. It'll go back to his Senate. Um, man, we're going to be out of here before dinner. This is great. Look at this. I think we've got a <laughs> tiny little bit of fighting to do. <laughs> yeah. But there is a small uh, thing of a war. <laughs> Two. <laughs> yeah. Can we fight two wars in the one turn? Uh, yeah. that's, that's up to the Senate to decide, and I guess uh, the Rome Consul, if he puts it forward as a proposal. All right, ladies. Well, let's fight one and see if we win it. All right, ladies and gents, <laughs> uh, it is now um, back to the Rome Consul. Uh, it is now his Senate uh, to run uh, at his leisure. Uh, if you're following along on the cheat sheet, uh, he's essentially running from uh, the invisible point seven onwards, so after governors in the cheat sheet. Um, he is, uh, yeah, he'll be looking upon any of the optional... Um, Proposals uh, from there. Um, so yes, over to you, Sempronius Aquila and uh, and to Furious as Rome Consul. All right. Um, yeah. Look, take your time. Um, there is certainly no rush, um, and I have always got things to talk about and chat about and uh, and comment on. Uh, so Sorry. have a think about your proposals uh, c for this coming year. Um, Actually, um, as, um, so as Pontifex Maximus, I do uh -huh. want to ensure that we um, 
that we have the relative spiritual fortitude to uh, carry on with the uh, war. So I would like to propose uh, Cornelius um, to become a priest to uh, help help support the uh, war effort. Excellent. All right, go ahead and uh, give him a priest token. Well, 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 those tokens. <laughs> we have our, we are down the bottom left of the play area, I think, oh, yeah. uh, next to the major and corruption markers there. So uh, do we all hold, hide the corruption on the cards? Please do, yes. Well? Uh, everybody can remove the major corruption tokens from their cards and put them back, and uh, you can also hide the corrupt, corrupt portions of your con uh, concessions now. Yep, certainly go, go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, great, and we've just seen Cornelius from Suidus de Panem, uh, anointed as a priest. Uh, congratulations to him. And what does that give him? Uh, that gives you plus one influence, so go ahead and add plus one influence to that senator. And you also get one additional vote uh, for proposals uh, that influence um, sending forces away to war. So... Um, not necessarily the raising of units, and I'm happy to be corrected, but in terms of um, proposing a force to be added or sent to a particular war, you get an additional vote on top of your 10 faction votes. So really, for those proposal types, you'll get 11. Uh, in fact, as a challenge while we're waiting for the Rome Consul to think about his proposals, a quick challenge for everyone else to find that part in the rule book about battle votes. About what? Battle votes. Battle votes. Mm. So the boat, the benefits of both Pontifus Maximus, but priests as well. See who who can find that quicker. And for those uh, watching along at home, I'm heading to that area now. Um, priest votes. Uh, priest battle. Uh. So it's 2.01.32. There we go, you get the points. All right. Well done. Uh, every priest receives one extra vote when voting on a proposal that will send forces against a war or recall retain their commander. And this does not include any proposals that only contain the deployment of garrisons, uh, of garrisons or governors. Okay. So, right, so sending forces away to war or the recalling or retention of commanders. Okay. So he's obviously a priest of Mars, is he? Uh, he could <laughs> yes. be a priest of any of the collegiums. Um, yeah, so uh, Mars is always uh, preferential in terms of war, but yeah, look, he could be a priest of any of the, any of the various uh, religious cultus colleges in the cultus diorum. I don't think Venus would do us much good in the war. She looks pretty, though. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I guess at this point we need to do, do we raise forces at this point? You can do you can determine that order yourself. That's up to you. If this is your center. Well, I don't like this. <laughs> too, well, too many options. Too um, many choices. Why, why, why? Right, well, let's go. Okay, so we've got no governors to recall, so that we don't have to worry about that. Correct. Um, any laws? Uh, uh, that'll be up to the people who possess them. So okay. uh, if somebody has a law card in their hand, they can play that at any time that they choose. Uh, uh -huh. And if you look to the left of the current centre vote board, you can actually see an open scroll that talks about law cards. Uh, and they can be played at any time during the Senate phase. Um, so if you do desire to play a Senate card, um, that would be put through as the very next proposal, if there's one not already on the floor, uh, for the Senate to decide upon. Okay. okay. So there's currently no law sitting there, so it's okay. Yep, not for concern. Um, assassination attempts? Do I have to actually ask for people to assassinate? Uh, no. Uh, they just do that when they, 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 are, they are just something that are. They, they will occur <laughs> at the desire of particular factions. Okay. Yep. Um, we've assigned a priest. Thank you very much. We're not. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, concessions. Uh, there are no current concessions in the forum right now to vote upon. Good. No land bills. Um, <laughs> I, I just read Indominus' comment. <laughs> Think you need a tribune card. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, yeah. If you want to, play, yeah, that, that, that is a that that can be a valid proposal. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
maybe not. Um, okay, so let's, let's get on to the business of preparing for war um, and raising some forces. So can I open up to the Senate any suggestions, recommendations on forces to wage these wars? Um, now, someone mentioned earlier that we have to be careful which way we prosecute these two wars. Um, I, t I think we need to decide because one needs fleets and one doesn't. So I think we need to decide which war we're going to deal with first. Well, the, the thing you have to look out for is that whoever is commanding uh, this war will be able to grab the refuge card. Yeah. The first war. If we win, that is. <clears throat> so if, uh, and, and we'd like to get rid of Philip V, but yeah. Hamilcar uh, is not as strong as him. So if we, mm. if Hamilcar yeah. gets the refuge card, it's less of an impact than Philip V. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are so you saying we yeah. should go for yeah. Macedonia yeah. and Philip V first? No, we should go for oh, the, the Punic War first because oh. uh, it's got higher values. So once we defeat it, um, Hamilcar will only add three to the other war, whereas oh, okay. six. All you right. know, if we go the reverse, six added to the Punic War will be pretty okay. high. Well, well in, well, in that case, if we do the first Punic War first, we're also going to have to get uh, some maritime stuff as well as just legions. Yeah. Yeah, but we've got the funding for that now. Yeah. Cool. And the cost is better. What is the yeah. cost again? Is it two now? I think no. it's ten. 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 So, so um, we need to do a battle of ten. We've got an admiral of four. So to draw even, we would need six boats, right? Uh, but I think we... What about the plus three from Hamilcar? What's that do? Oh, he, he's he an admiral as well? Does that count for him as well? Yeah, yeah it, it adds to both the, the land and fleet strength, yes. Okay. Not, right, so not the fleet support. The fleet support remains unchanged. So we need to spend 90 to get nine boats to draw even. So, so the 10 on the first Punic War, that's not fleet support, that's actual fleets. No, the number 10 on the first Punic War is land strength. Sorry, yeah, and then the, the 10 next to it, you're right. It's there's, got the same a 10, there's a 5 and then yes. there's a 10 next to yeah, it. So, yeah, it's 10 fleets as well. Apologies. Yeah. Mm. So, so if we spend 120 on fleet, that gives us 12 boats. It brings us up to 16 as opposed to their 13 for the naval battle. Uh, and then how many soldiers do we need then? Uh, again, we need to spend at least Ten. nine to go even. Um, how, many, how many soldiers have we got right now? Two. We've only got two legions at the moment. Technically oh. you have three because of the veteran. All oh, right. Yeah, so because they're one, but they're as effective as two. We would, I suggest we spend another hundred on army, on legions. And how many would that yeah. give us? Ten. Okay, so so we'd be even. No, then no, no, we'd we'd be a, no. So we'd have ten uh, legions, plus the three that we already have brings us to thirteen, plus the four okay. for our general brings us to seventeen. Versus their thirteen. Okay. Okay. But then we've got a yeah, because in order to have then the potential for the second one now, that would require us to be matching sixteen. So do we have any spare money? We may as well buy as many legions as possible. Well, we don't want to go broke by accident. Is that possible? Uh, it certainly is. So. At the moment, we would have forty left. But we've got the fifth. We've got that card for an extra fifty at the start of next turn. Oh yes, that's true. Um, well, I get I get some income when we build fleets. So uh, yeah, we don't have the money now. Yeah. Yeah, but um, what else? Sorry, what else do we need money for? Well, do we turn? do do we want to do both wars to that this time in one go? Uh, I think it would be good to have that as a possibility. I guess it, yeah, it depends on how many people survive because we can still yeah. have um, a lot of losses. Yeah. Well, actually, actually, that is a question. Can we? 
can we change our minds, or do we have to send them out for both wars at the same time? No. So, well, if we lose all our forces in the first one, we wouldn't have a choice. We wouldn't be able to no, go no. in the second war anyway. So <laughs> once, once a force is sent out for a particular war card, that's it for the year. They can't bounce between wars. Now, you okay. can send two separate forces out in the same turn. That's perfectly reasonable, noting that the... Uh, the sending out of the Rome Consul, i.e. your second commander, will then close the Senate session, uh, and then you'll fight both of those wars with the respective forces that they've been assigned to each of the respective wars. I don't uh, think we can afford the forces to fight both wars then. No, no, I know the, field, the field console only goes with one war? That is correct. You can, uh, one console can only fight one war per turn. So we can't afford both wars this no. year? No. So on that then, going on what was said before, we, sh we do the Punic War now with everything we can, win that, and then next turn we do with the Macedonian. So it's a question for everyone. Um, uh, I don't know how likely manpower shortage is, but I see, I don't see a problem with us raising lots of legions. Yes, we'll have a little bit of maintenance next turn. Uh, so is it two for maintenance? Correct, two per unit. Okay. Yeah. And I want to say, what's the, what's the way it goes? So it's basically set up. So if we have, if we have 10 legions and 10 boats left, that'll be 40. We don't have 40 at the moment. We'll, we'll get uh, 50 from the, uh, our enthusiasm at the start. Plus the additional hundred income Plus. as well. Yeah, yeah, so so we'll be able to pay it. Um, but that means we will, we won't have much money to go to the next war then. Well, yeah. hopefully we'll have some. Oh, we, won't, we won't need as much because we'll have some units left over. Yeah, because exactly because they cost ten now, but they might cost twenty next time. Don't, don't, uh, yes. don't forget the cost for any active or unprosecuted wars at the end of the combat phase as well during uh, the next how much, revenue. How much is that again? 10, 20, 20 each. Twenty. Twenty each. But we should get thirty-five if we win this first Punic War. Yes. Uh, so, and a I, no, we don't get a province. We need to win the rest of the day. Uh, so let's have a look. Victory creates provinces of Sicilia and Corsica at Sardinia. So yeah, you will get provinces out of victory in the first Punic War. That's good for money. Sometimes. <laughs> well, let's get as many forces as we can afford and deal with the Punic War. Yeah, I think I think that's a good idea because we'll have a leftover and we'll get enough money next turn, hopefully. So, um, Dominus, so with the sixteen and the ten, that leaves us forty. The twelve and the ten. Twelve. Sorry. 10. 12, twelve and ten. Sorry, yeah, twelve and the ten. So we don't need any more boats. So we can spend another forty on four more units. So, just to help you, don't forget you've got down the bottom right of the sand pit, you've got planning legions and fleets. You can also use your markers so you can draw on your proposals in the sand pit just to make it really clear what you're doing, if that helps. You don't have to, I'll just if that helps you all no, visualise what's happening. Okay, yeah, that would that would help me if I could visualise it. If you need more tokens or something, let me know, I can add more. Down the bottom right of the sand pit next to the column, you'll see the planning tokens there. And then, of course, you can use yeah. your markers to draw. Just be careful if you're deleting your markers, don't accidentally highlight other things and delete them, okay? So it was 10 legions plus 3 plus 4. 12, 12 uh, yeah. Originally. So we're suggesting that goes to 12 fleets and 12 legions. Yeah. And if it helps, you can drag them over war cards, etc., because they are planning tokens. So, um, and that's particularly helpful if you plan to prosecute multiple wars in one go. Um, but yeah, use the use the tokens and put them as you desire. Okay. Three, four, So 
And so, was someone taking them off? Because that's all we can afford. Oh, no. don't we have three? I'm oh, sorry, I was trying to show that we have three existing ones as well, or does that include the existing oh, ones? Oh, okay, right. And the four for the general. One, one double one. Yeah. So, 13, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, 10, 12, 3, 15. So do we want to draw the enemy's forces as well? Yeah, yeah, we can. We should just write down the numbers. So it's got 13 for army. So they've got... Yeah. That's 16 for the Mega Hawk. For those that are just tuned in or are watching the stream, the, the Senate is currently spitballing and uh, mud mapping um, the proposed legions and fleets that they're going to raise to fight one of the uh, one of the wars, and that is either the First Punic War or the Second Macedonian War. Nice, good use of text. I like it. This is this is good, good, good work. <laughs> so, how did you get that they got 16 fleet? Sorry. Uh, so, it's 13 plus 3 from their general. From their general. It's 10. It's 10, 10 plus 3, 13. It's 10 plus 3. Oh, so I was looking at D30. Sorry, yes, you're right. Yeah, you, you're right. looking at the disaster standoff numbers, yeah. Yes. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't, be, don't be rolling them now. So is that us down the bottom and them at the top? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, we get one extra one because our uh, field console is a better strategist by one point to their commander. And I reckon if we use a phalanx formation, we'll probably win. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, did he use a phalanx? No, they weren't using phalanx by then. They were using the... Uh, they were yeah, using phalanx, the... that was ancient Greeks. Yeah, no, they, the, early, the early Romans used a phalanx, but by this stage, the second, is it second, first Punic War? Well, the Punic Wars, they were using... Um, yeah, so, so, so the first Punic War was uh, 264 to 241 BC, as per the war card there. Yeah. Centurions. Yeah, yeah I saw oh, that. Centurions. I, I saw oh, that myself and my eye twitched. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, I propose we... Hang on, that's wrong. Sorry. We've got... Yeah. We've got 14 galleys to their 13 rafts. We're doing so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've got 12 galleys. Uh, 16 galleys to their 13 rafts, yeah. Oh, because of that, General. Yep. Yeah, 16, yeah. Yep. All right, so I propose that we fund 12 fleets and 12 legions. And we'll put that to the vote now. And we'll start with Hand of God. Uh, I will vote uh, seven in favour. Optimates. I vote um, 15 in favour. Reaper's party? 8 in favour. Uh, Tarquinius? 16 in favour. And Sibibus is 10 in favour. Okay. Sounds to me. So, uh, Scriber, read back. What has the proposal just passed? Um, proposal to raise 12 armies and 12 fleets. 
Okay, all right, Quister, if you wish to deduct the appropriate amount of talents from the state treasury, and uh, if uh, perhaps the Rome console wishes to designate someone to now physically raise those forces from the force pool to the green active forces fields of Mars. Uh, can I please receive 36 talents? Holy uh, to my, <laughs> my shipbuilding, uh, what are they called? Yes, yes, you can. Um, any particular denomination you like those, or can I? Just... Uh, you can give me it as big as possible if you. Great. Want to. Uh, yeah, you bet. <laughs> wow, you're getting some. You're getting some big ass talents right now. I'm gonna need a. Uh, I'm gonna need several chariots to get this to you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy dooly! All right, it's in your play zone there. Thank so does, you. So does this make um, you corrupt next turn then? Uh, yes, it does. Yes, it does, because that corruption doesn't disappear until after the censor has passed decisions. So, uh, as he has rightly done so, he's revealed the corrupt portion of his concession, uh, and he is now taking in a huge haul of money. Noting that money has to go on the senator's card; it can't go oh, anywhere sorry. else right now. Yep. Remember, Oof. only during the redistribution step can you move money around. Okay. Oh. So all that money you just received has to go onto uh, onto the senator's card. Okay, so we've got our existing two legions, one of which is veteran up in the green. Yep. So how do we... So we're going to put some more active forces up there, so it's bottom 12. Yeah. Yep, in any order you wish, doesn't matter which, which, uh, which numbered forces you're raising. So they're in the force pool there on the right, uh, just drag them across. Uh, perhaps only one at a time, or uh, otherwise we'll end up moving a whole bunch of stuff. I'll move those back there. There we go. Is someone moving the legions up and the fleets? Uh, you can designate someone if you like, Rome Consul. Um, yeah, well, I'll designate the field consul. There we go. Field consul. Over to you. Yeah, I'm just looking for where the legions are. <laughs> uh, let me help you out. I'm going to centre everybody's screen. Okay. Please do so. All right. It should have centred oh. now. There's the force pool over there, so you can drag oh. them to the oh. green. Right next to it. So I just need to grab 12 legions, right? And 12 fleets. Okay. Okay. Um, there's one, two, three, four. Uh, whoa. Oh, you grab too many at once. Just be careful you don't click and drag. Uh, drag, yeah. If you drag boxes, it'll take anything that that box touches. Nine, ten, eleven. Sorry, can't help myself. Got to this. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine, fine. Feel free. Okay, that's twelve legions. Now, how many fleets we got here? One, two, three, four, fleets five, six. There. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, twelve fleets, right? You're all there. Well done. Thank you. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to go around the table and see if there's any order of business. So uh, I think I still think you're some legions short because you already had one legion and one veteran already out there on the fields of Mars. Somebody want to do a recount? Okay, so one, two, three, four. So the veteran counts as two, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, but he's already an existing force. He's not it in your 12 that you raised. So we should yeah, be yeah, so There should be seven. Um, there should be 13. There should be 14. There should be a total of 14 land units out there now. Yeah. So we're missing two. Yeah, so we need two more. Okay. There you go. Uh, good to see the 10th Legion Frontestus is out there. Very good. <laughs> what, why are they? Why I'm, is it the the legion. <laughs> I'm a big, I'm a big fan of the tenth legion. That's all. So well, why? why? <laughs> the the ninth legion is missing though. That's a bit ominous. It is a bit ominous. <laughs> a bit early for that one to go. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> oh, I love it. That's great. Okay. Now, Bella, did you ask why are we fans of the tenth legion? Yes. 
What what what's so special about the tenth legion? Oh wow! <laughs> and if I own him to there, <laughs> that's yours truly. That's amazing. <laughs> We're part of the reenactment group in Victoria. <laughs> the ancient Roman reenactors of Victoria, which uh, Ingeniarius is uh, is a member of as well. So indubitably. Yes. Well, I, I was that's I saw you on Facebook a few days ago, one of those um, Roman finding things in your toga. Ah, uh, yes, yep, indeed. You're, you're a senator now or something? Oh, I wish. No, I'm only a quaestor. Oh. <laughs> uh, although in in Rome, uh, most quaestors would in fact have been senators, but in my organisation, no, they, it's not automatic senatorial appointment. So uh, maybe one day, maybe one day. Anyway, uh, or, back to the Rome Consul. Okay. Um, at this point in time, I'll ask for order of business, and we'll start with um, Postumus. Any order of business you'd like to? Uh, no, I think that uh, everything seems pretty good to me. Okay. Indominus, any order of business you'd like to raise in the Senate floor? Uh, no. Okay. Um, Dollar Bella. Any order of business? Uh, no, just let's get on with the war. Okay. <laughs> and Cornelius, <laughs> any order of business? Um, no, let's uh, bring bring them some glory. Uh, now okay. I'm, I'm going to jump in here just to just to be very just to make just be careful and, and uh, just look after you guys. Uh, noting right now that you have a whole bunch of forces that are doing nothing. Yep. Okay? Just just want to make that known. All right, before yep. you continue, okay? So now I um, propose cool. that we um, send our forces to fight the First Punic War immediately, I guess. So uh, um, if you are the presiding magistrate, you need to be very, very specific and articulate as to what the proposal is because the scriber needs to write this down. So if you are sending forces, quote, unquote, we need to know what they are, to okay. which war, um, and uh, to whom the commander they are assigned. So because the scriber needs to write all those details down. So aren't they assigned to the field console? Well, that's up yes. to you in your proposal. Let's caveat that. If that is, in fact, the only war you're fighting this round, it's kind of automatic, but it does need to be articulated. Okay. All right. So I propose that we send our 12 fleet and 15 legions under the command of Julius to prosecute the First Punic War Again, uh, uh, to prosecute the first Punic War. Can I just ask, do we actually know that it's called the first Punic War at this stage, or is it just the Punic War? Um, it's the first Punic War on the card. It, yes, it is the first Punic War on the card, um, but so depending on the way the cards are drawn, the war cards can be drawn out of order. Um, what that means is, uh, really, is if the last war in a series is uh, destroyed or defeated, means every previous war yet to be fought becomes what they refer to as a rebellion instead, um, uh, which there are no spoils of war to be gained from those. Excuse me, sorry. So in this case here, it happens to be labelled the First Punic War, and in this case we can also consider it in our scenario also the First Punic War. But yeah, it, in, in the game it cannot always be in order. So if we then right. prosecute the Second Macedonian War and then the First Macedonian War comes out, it becomes a rebellion. No, because there are four in the series, so you'd have to defeat the fourth Macedonian War. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, so really, the, it's, it's called the Second Macedonian War, but that's your first one, really. Uh, unless the First Macedonian War is drawn, then you will have to fight that in order. So you'd have to then fight the fourth Macedonian, then the second. But right now, it's open and you can defeat that Second Macedonian War as is. Okay. A few, whew, that's a lot there. Okay. All right. So, Scriba, you write that all that down? Uh, yes, I've got proposal to send 12 fleets and 15 legions under the command of Julius to prosecute the First Punic War. Okay, so we'll go around the grounds. Um, so... I, I'm just going to just going to come in here and interdict. Uh, so technically speaking, you do not have 15 legions. So you've got, you've got 14 
land units, uh, 14 legions, one of which has the strength of two. So, you, yeah, yeah, let's let's just fix that wording. Yeah, all right, sorry. Yeah, 14, 14 legions. legions, but it's got a value of 15 because of the veteran. Right, correct. Yeah. Okay, so 14 legions. All right, so... Um, Reaper's party? Oh, obviously, yes, I'm all for it. Eight, eight votes in favour. Thank you. Taquinius? 16 in favour. <clears throat> Stibibus puts 10 in favour. Uh, any battle votes? Any you, might, you might as well throw your, you got your priest battle vote if you wish to use that. You don't have to. It's optional. I will put the priest battle vote in as well. So a total of 11 for him then? <laughs> yep. He's going to pray for victory, is he? Indeed. <laughs> He is. That's what they did. <laughs> Hand of God. Yeah. Hand of God. Uh, seven four. And optimates. Uh, Fifteen and four. Okay. Fifty-seven. Yes, That's the highest vote so far. Huh. <laughs> Go to war. Motion carried. Um, and okay, so um, and I now call um, draw the Senate to a close. Oh, boom. <laughs> We gotta do the war, don't we? Bang! Well, that'll come yes. in the next phase. Oh, that'll come in the next phase. Yeah, but uh, the, the Rome consul's having nothing else. That's uh, that's oh. bang, and that's his problem. I haven't been around before. <laughs> that's that's cool. That's okay. That's all right. No, do that's, do that's I good. need to move the field consul banner over to the war? Uh, no, no, it's all right. You can just leave him in position there. That's fine. We we understand okay. he's the commander, and there's there's not um, okay. many complicated wars going on there. But what uh, what we will do is. Uh, move all the active forces to the respective war card and uh, perhaps um, some of us uh, amongst us may be more wanting to meticulously place those in a better fashion uh, so let's in <laughs> fact move the the forces to the war card in question um, and that way we'll be able to action those accordingly uh, if we get a result Ooh. other than victory that's when we'll move Julius across just to make it obvious um, okay. don't we don't put it into the active wars section yeah, that's right. It'll, be, it'll become an active war now. So, uh, yeah, drag that war up into the active wars box because uh, it's not unprosecuted. It'll, in fact, be prosecuted this round. Um, and hopefully it'll disappear entirely because you'll you'll awesomely defeat it. But uh, we'll, we'll see how we go. The legions need to move up a bit more, don't they? I think so. Yep, there we go. Ah. Oh. Watch out, Hamilcar, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so do I keep reading through the next phase? Uh, that... No, you're no, no, I'm, happy. Field console now, I'm, I'm happy to take over from here, and uh, the Senate session's now closed, um, so there we go. So uh, we're now going to move into the combat phase, so we get into the uh, exciting diehard stuff. All right, uh, and we're going to uh, we're going to confirm our numbers for the the one and only war being prosecuted this round, the first Punic War, uh, and we ha we always start with a naval battle when there is a naval battle to be fought. Okay, and uh, let's go through and, and confirm our numbers. So first of all, we need to work out the difference in force strength. Uh, let's go ahead and calculate the Senate force strength, which is a total of the fleet plus the military strength rating of our general. So what's that number? Sixteen. 16 and uh, the strength of the navy of the war card plus any strength from the hero will give us a total of 13 <laughs> very good and that will give us a strength difference of three. three three so we're going to add three to a 3d6 and considering that the force is being commanded by julius the honor of rolling the 3d6 will go to the reapers party and cornelius dolabella all right everybody brace okay this for this <laughs> epic naval battle uh let's see how yeah. we go go so ahead and roll 3d6 correct go ahead and roll 3d6 and we're going to add three uh to that total that you roll you want to roll high uh wait a minute um let's try that again okay okay d6 three yep shit I'm just waiting. Two, one. I'm waiting it for to load on my end here. Uh, all right. I, mean, I can't see the oh, there it is. There, there it is. It's just come through. So that's a pretty low number. Um, so you yeah. rolled six plus three, uh, so that gives us nine. Okay. Um, 
that's not going to be a particularly tidy result. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, and if you're looking at the table, uh, you'll see that that results in a uh, stalemate. But what we need to double check first is that we didn't hit any disasters or standoffs. We didn't roll 8, 12, 13, 11, or 14, so that's safe. Uh, and therefore, we will, in fact, have a stalemate there. All right, and the stalemate under 9, as you'll read there, is a loss of four legions and four fleets. Okay, Shit. and this is random, and so I'll do that for you in just a moment. Um, so that was a... Now, uh, a stalemate is um, not a victory and it's not a defeat. Uh, what that means is uh, Julius will hang around out there as pro-console until signposted otherwise. Um, so uh, to make things easier, I'm going to uh, drag this across. Okay, so I'm just going to pull the field console stuff up because he's technically no longer going to be a field console moving forwards from here. Uh, I'm just going to tuck him in down there, uh, and I'm going to grab the pro console mark and stick that on his card. That's a little bit premature, but nonetheless, that'll be the case here. Okay, let's go through and let's start hacking away legions and fleets lost here. Um, and, and it is and it is uh, random. Um, so uh, I've already done some calculations here because the veteran legions are also susceptible to this. Um, but based on my calculations, they're the, uh, the four ones that are destroyed, so you actually hang on to your veteran legions. And your four, oh, oh steady, your four ones that got destroyed over here uh, are those ones. Okay. Oh, did the enemy lose anything as well? Nope. So the um, enemy, enemy retains. So, sorry, one sec. So the, because this was a naval battle, so we still lose legions in a naval battle? Correct. Because the yes. legions are on the boat. That's right, because you've, you've sent them with the force. They are susceptible to loss. They'd stay back a bit, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, you could have just yeah. sent a naval force, and therefore only you would have only sustained naval losses, but because you sent them all, the legions are all susceptible to losses as well. Cool. Um, okay. <laughs> now, now we need to make sure to see that the commander, in fact, survived that encounter, and he needs to draw a total of eight death chits okay so here's the number we don't want to see is a four so what we need cornelius dolabella to do is head over to the uh collections um uh, option again on the far right hand side far right under hand your settings side. yeah in the settings next to the settings box hit the collections box you'll see macros but right down the bottom you hear see the rollable tables no <laughs> so, so you know where your roll, oh. your roll 20 settings are next to that is collections so far, uh, it's locked up on me. Okay, we'll just wait for it to unfreeze on you. Come on. If he dies, then we lose his four. Uh, yeah, you lose him as a commander, yes. So we but lose the, his two or three fours of four. Uh, and the army's uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, his 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 military adding four disappears, and you would have to replace the commander. Uh, well, the, the forces would automatically be withdrawn, so you'd have to repropose a new commander in the future. But uh, if he survives, he will stay there as the commander unless the Senate appoints otherwise. Okay, okay you... so where have I got to go? Over okay. the right-hand side, far, you see. Far top right-hand side, you'll see the cog for my settings. Next to it is something called my collections, the three horizontal lines. You see that? I'm not even sure I'm in the top right-hand side yet. So far top right hand side of the virtual tabletop, uh, you'll see your my settings cog. Do you see that uh, in no. the white white yeah. panel area? You know, you know where you reconnect from, from, Chris. Oh, over there he's talking about. I thought you were yeah. talking about. Huh? No, oh, okay. no, it's the it's the three lines on top of each other, right next to the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Now I know what you're talking about. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so right down the bottom, you'll see rollable tables. Do you see that? And you see the mortality chit row. Rollable tables, yeah. Yeah, all right. And you see the roll button next to mortality chit. Go ahead and give that a roll. Okay, first one is a six. So let's move on. Okay, number two, do it again. Next draw one is two. a next one's a draw two. That doesn't matter. Okay, draw, draw again for number three. Oh, hang on. Yep. Okay. Just hit that five. Okay, safe again. Okay, roll again for number four. Uh, it's a seven. Roll again for number five. Okay, roll again for number six. Roll again for number seven. Roll again for number eight. Okay, he survives. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Holy dooly. Man, oh man, oh man. Um, some luck. <laughs> well, we did exactly right. Some luck. 
<laughs> um, but uh, not 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 a desirable outcome. Um, that was uh, yeah a, a, a floppy roll, uh, an unlucky roll. Uh, okay, well that will now conclude the the combat phase there, um, and uh, let's uh, let's move on. Um, there are no provincial wars to worry about here, and there are no unprosecuted wars to move around. So we don't fight the land battle. Uh, you didn't win the you didn't no, win the victory yeah, battle. Win the yeah. Yeah. So we don't, well, our forces never got there. We got our ass kicked in the ocean. Correct. That's right. Ass kicked in the ocean. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can we reinforce yeah, in yeah. the next battle? Yep, absolutely. That's certainly an option, and that's something for the uh, the, the new presiding magistrate next uh, Senate phase to decide is whether you reinforce, with, withdraw, uh, appoint a new commander. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yep. Or we let him die out there. Or, or you just let him die out there. That's right. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's move on to the revolution phase now. Uh, intrigue. So we're going to start with the highest ranking available officer. Uh, if you would like to play, uh, trade, uh, uh, or you don't need to discard. I think everybody's under the five card limit at the moment. Let me just double check here. Oh, I'm moving things around and it's, and it's upsetting my camera windows here. Uh, just doing a double check. Yep, everybody's still under the limit. Okay, starting with uh, Sempronius. Uh, is there any cards that you sh wish to play from your hand at this point? Concessions, uh, eligible statesmen, um, maybe bodyguard cards, etc. Um, bodyguard card? Correct. If you've got one, you may not have one. Uh, if it's an open bodyguard card, open bodyguards can be played at any time to pr protect a senator from assassination attempts. You've, you'll also have secret bodyguards as well, and they're kept, as the name suggests, secret until the time that you are attacked. Uh, but if you have an open bodyguard card, if you read the card, it'll allow you to play that, I think, on any senator at this point. Um, can you play that when there's an assassination attempt? Uh, it'll, the card should stipulate that, but I think the open bodyguard card has to be in play prior to any assassination attempt. Which thankfully, um, can't, which thankfully can't occur right now because we're outside the centre phase. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Um, no, I've got, I'm not, um, I'm not going to push my luck with him, I don't think. Um, okay. I'll, I'll go, no, I won't. All right, cool. All right, let's, uh, let's move along to the hand of God. Uh, any cards that you wish to play from your hand at this point? Um, this is the only opportunity you get during the course of a year to play cards from your hand, unless signposted otherwise. No, I'm all right. Uh, subsequently, if you want to move concessions around senators, this is the time you do that as well. Or if you want to pick up concessions, this is the time that you do it as well. I'll allow that. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, um, I'm just going to move one of my concessions, but that's about it. Yeah, not a problem. Okay, uh, moving to the optimates. Uh, would you like to play any cards at this point? Uh, no. All right, moving across to the Reapers party. Would you like to play any cards at this point? Yeah, I just tried the Wispy, but it didn't work. Um, I've got a card that says Nullify Disaster. Uh, I need to have a look. I'm uh, not sure what the card might be. Oh, it's working for me now. Let me have no. a look at it. I suspect that's if we've rolled some. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, oh, hang on. Just, 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 just ignore that. Just, just press cancel on that Cornelius Dolabella. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm just zooming in on your cards to have a look. Okay. Yeah. It says nullifies disaster. Isn't that something that happens in a war? If you right, so, one yeah, of those um, members? yeah, yeah, so that, that can also um, earn you some stuff. Would you like to play that this round on a senator? Well, well, would that help with the result of the war? It's, it certainly can help, yes. Okay, well, there, then I'll play. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hold up. Uh, no, you've, you've misread the card there. It says, may be destroyed by a natural disaster event. Oh. Natural disaster, so that doesn't include a war. Correct. It's like a volcano or a flood or drought. Well, it says nullifies disaster standoff numbers on Punic wars, but not any leader. Uh, oh, sorry, we're, we're looking at different cards. So um, <laughs> I, I can now see the card you're looking at. All right, let's do a, let me just do a check of the field. Stand by. Okay. Uh, you cannot play that card. Damn. Um, and um, and that's because of the ID number. And uh, I, uh, I I wouldn't necessarily articulate any more than that. But you should have a look at the senators in other factions and see which one matches the the, the similar ID number. 
um, and then you might need to have a chat with that person in private. Uh, or, pub or publicly, yeah. that's up to you. You can certainly do it publicly, but uh, sometimes private deals can also be good. Um, but yeah, you, you, you'll need to have a chat with somebody else about that. Or you need to do some uh, dastardly things to change circumstances. Okay? <laughs> All right, but um, yeah, so yeah, you, you, you're not eligible to play that card right now. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no. Okay, uh, moving on to the Taquinius Proprietor faction. Would you like to play any cards from your hand at this point? Uh, yeah, I'm just, no, no, no cards from my hand. I okay. just want to move. Sure. What am I? Yep, not a problem. Okay, and everybody is under the limit. Uh, there's going to be no declarations of rebellion. The Senate is still surviving at this point in time. And, and ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude uh, another year cycle. Well done. Woo. You survived a third assembly and a third turn. Good job. That's what I like to hear. Any, we any... Have one more to go, that if we survive and then we die, it's over? I think so. You voted on four, I believe. Uh, Scriber, you should yeah. be able to uh, read that for us. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah, I thought it was four. Uh, oh, within three. So this is the third round. Oh. oh. Right, so if you die next round. Oh, wait, sorry. No, no, no. We, we, we voted on three. Oh, that's right. That didn't yeah, pass. You and then we voted on so four. So it is in fact four. So, uh, right. Yeah. There you go. Uh, and look, you know, um, even if, if you all come back and decide to play again anyway afterwards, but... Uh, but it would be not binding if somebody wants to pull out, right? So, uh, Well, any other final closing remarks uh, before we conclude uh, tonight's session? Um. Uh, 2020 continues. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it does 20 BC continues. <laughs> yeah, that was a rather unfortunate war result. Very unfortunate. Yeah, I rolled 1-4 I rolled and then 2 once. <laughs> That's uh, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Well, uh, well, uh, we'll we'll certainly leave the, the session there. Then, if there's uh, no more remarks, uh, thank you to all our participating uh, senators in the in the window boxes at the top there. Uh, uh, thanks for coming along for another assembly. We'll see you all uh, in a week's time. Uh, at this point, you guys are, are dismissed. Thanks again. And uh, as for all the viewers on the on the Twitch stream, uh, hang around. Uh, we'll have a yeah. chat and uh, have a discuss. So thanks to all of our senators. Hooroo. Yeah. We'll see you later. All right. Thank see you. you guys next week. And uh, yes. if you are watching at home, don't go away. We'll be back very shortly. Well, well, well. Uh, an interesting session in Senate this evening. Uh, Senate session. Session Senate. Um, either way, it was a bit of a kerfuffle. That was an unfortunate result with that uh, first Punic war card. Uh, they sent quite a significant force, but uh, it was an absolute terrible, terrible roll. You, you can't get much... Much worse than, than what they did there. They had they had a fairly decent strength difference, uh, you know, a positive three. That's that's not bad, but it is a quite a strong war card to begin with. Um, but that's going to that's certainly going to hurt them. They, they got lucky with their draws this this round. They didn't uh, encounter particular aggressive cards or heroes or wars from the uh, early Republic deck. So uh, it was pretty clean. There was one event draw, I think, uh, with the Allied Enthusiasm, which will give them 50 extra talents in the next in the next phase. Um, but they will certainly need that to buy some additional forces. And I could probably guess that they are really going to struggle because they're going to see more active wars. And I, I can almost bet money, bet talents, that they will get a matching war. Uh, and that will really cause them some trouble having to raise a ginormous force. To, uh, to take on something like the Punic War, if that second Punic War card comes out in the next set of six initiative uh, steps. Uh, yeah, so an unfortunate role for Julius as the commander, uh, now proconsul. We'll see if the Senate wishes to keep him out there, but I suspect they'll want to send a, a stronger military leader out, and he may be withdrawn. Uh, but again, uh, we saw a fairly, fairly passive Rome consul this evening, uh, open to ideas, listening to the Senate. But there was a lot of calculations to take into account there. State Treasury down to a low balance of about 20 talents, uh, but they raised significant fleets and legions uh, as a result. But they've now lost eight of those total units uh, in, a, in a rather unfortunate stalemate, as we've been discussing. 
Yeah, interesting. Other highlights include uh, Paparius, a new senator who have joined the Optimates with a successful persuasion attempt, and as well uh, as a new senator, Platius, who already saw a round or two in the forum, who's now joined the Taquinius Pro Praetore faction. So we're starting to see some real strength uh, and some dominance uh, from both those factions, the Taquinius Pro Praetore uh, and the Optimates factions, both with very large faction influence and very large faction vote tallies right now. Uh, they are very much in command of this Senate. Uh, and the other factions should, if they haven't already, re really thinking about trying to reel them in a bit um, and trying to uh, put a throttle, a bit of a control on them going forwards while trying to maintain Rome. Uh, perhaps, you know, let's have a look at the vote tallies. If all the three other factions beam together, 10 votes, 7 votes, uh, and then 8 votes, is that enough? Uh, how good how good's your math with 16 plus 15? It's uh, it's tough. If these two form an alliance, uh, they become a, a deadly force and a, and a quite a strength in the Senate concerning various proposals. So anyway, uh, yeah, tonight's game, uh, tonight's session was dedicated to the Ludi Romani, the, the greatest of the Roman games this evening, which uh, which opens today uh, worldwide. Um, uh, for those in Nova Roma, you can participate in various events and announcements will be made shortly in the various forums. Uh, if you're interested to learn more about Nova Roma, um, by all means look us up on, on Facebook, uh, give us a follow on Instagram, Ost Nova Roma, or you can send us uh, an email as well at ostnovaroma at outlook.com. That's A-U-S-T, Nova Roma, at outlook.com. And we'll be happy to uh, answer any of your questions that you have. Uh, if it be, you have interests in anything Roman, uh, history, Latin language, uh, culture, uh, you name it, uh, Nova Roma is a, is a great place to speak to other like-minded individuals. Uh, well, that will conclude uh, tonight's uh, interesting third assembly of the Republic of Rome by Valley Games, the 2009 release. And uh, we hope you'll join us next Monday, starting at the same time, 11.30 a.m. Rome time, CEST, or that's 7.30 p.m. Uh, Australian Eastern Standard Time for all those watching locally. Thanks again for joining us. Thanks for the follow. And if you haven't already dropped us a follow, that would be very much appreciated. And also help to keep you up to date for when we go live. We'll occasionally do uh, other, other streams on this channel of a Roman nature. And uh, we're certainly open to taking suggestions as well. Uh, until uh, next time, uh, Walete.